What's going on, AJ? What up, brain? Jeez. <laughs> Dude, that's some Friday energy right there. I don't need that shit on a Monday. Ah, oh, that's what it's all about, man. Oh, right. Got to got to got to make Mondays more exciting cuz they kind of suck. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm looking at this I'm looking at this thumbnail. <clears throat> And mm -hmm. like it's me and you, and it's PSVR one and PSVR two, and I'm wondering. Uh, sorry, sirens on my end. Are, are, I I feel like one of us is. I feel like we're gonna duke it out. Like, is one of us PSVR one and the other one's PSVR two? I'm a little bit uh, confused. <laughs> I don't have. I I don't know. I, first of all, I don't see you or I on the thumbnail. All well, I it's, see is but it's, it's you and me and here. There's only two of us, right? And then in the okay. thumbnail, it says PSVR one yeah. and PSVR okay. two versus, and then there's two headsets. So it's like there's two of us. I feel like we got to put on First these headsets, 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 and start punching. Round one. Actually, the funny, the the cool thing is, Ryan, is that I have no idea. Like, I don't. I'm not gonna know until we go through it, do the maths, and then find out. Yeah. So. This is this is fun and exciting for me, like because I I could see an argument for either one off the top of my head, but until we really break it down very quickly, Brian, yeah, uh, uh, I'm not going to actually have an opinion. Maybe we will butt heads. Maybe we'll get a little bit of uh, some of that top twenty debate blood spilled here today. I'll tell you, I was putting the, the spreadsheet together today, and uh, I was surprised. That's all I'll say. I was surprised. I, I've been talking a lot of shit about PSVR 1 and saying, oh, man, if you weren't around for the first year, then you don't know how good we have it. And I'll tell you, man, I think I might be I might be putting myself in my place today. So uh, yeah. I'm excited, dude. You ready to get this show started? Let's do this! <laughs> This is PSVR Gamescast Live. We film live every single Monday, Wednesday, and Two Eyes Friday right here on YouTube. We do it live 6 p.m. Eastern for your viewing pleasure, but we also care about your oral pleasure. That's why our good friend Rap Up puts this thing up on podcast services of your choice. My name is Brian Paul from the channel right here, PSVR Without Parole. And the gentleman over here to my left, you're right. It's AJ from The Underground, PSVR Underground. What is up, Brian? What is up, Game Cats? Happy Monday. It's so good to see you guys. It feels like it's been so long. Even though it was just yesterday since we last saw you. It feels like a long it was time. It's a lot ago. of fun, man. Dude. Dude, shout out to this community. Dude, they they killed it yesterday. Okay. They, all of you guys out there, you killed it with the GoFundMe. We surpassed uh, every conceivable expectation that we had. I really thought we'd be streaming for like three hours and maybe raise another 500 bucks. That would help everybody out a little bit. And you guys just crushed it. And AJ, I don't, I, I don't know how you felt about the whole thing, but like, I, I don't, you, you know me, I'm always very uncomfortable with money. So for the rest of yesterday, like after the stream was over, I went and I was like, I'm going to have some lunch. I'm going to watch a little YouTube, right? Hanging out. And uh, I'm sitting there like eating some cereal, right? Watching Lucas Krushank, right? Here I am. You I don't know what any of these things are. You can you can pretend that you don't remember Fred, right? <laughs> and uh, and dude, I I legit felt guilty, right? Because I was like I was like I felt like I was I was like I was like thank you everybody for all your money, peace. And then I was like, wait, did we just fucking take everyone's money and leave? I, I felt like I, I needed to invite everyone over for milk and cookies or whatever to show my appreciation. Um, it's, well, but, you'll have plenty of chance to bring them milk and cookies in person, Brian, because it's official. Thanks to all of their wonderful support, we are all going to be there. Miles is even going to be there from London, man. Is he in London? I don't know. He's in the UK. I mean, us Americans think it's all the same. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's all the same. So we're going to go with yes. Nihilus Ryan, you the know, game feline with a $5 tip says, sorry, I missed the weekend streamathon, but happy it succeeded. See y'all in a couple weeks. Ooh, are we meeting Nihilus Ryan in person? Or oh, I'm sorry, in feline? <laughs> that was way funnier awesome. than you gave it credit for. You just ignored my I, joke. <laughs> I, no, I I was listening. It was good. Nihilus Ryan is my metal feline friend, and I if he's there, I will give him a metal feline hug. Amazing! Everybody watch, everybody watch out. AJ's giving hugs. I'm giving milk and cookies. You cannot avoid us. <laughs> if I just bring in a giant backpack full of milk and cookies, are they going to be like, you can't do this? Like, is it like the movie theater where they're like, no? 
We no, sell, they don't even care at the movies. We sell it's milk so and cookies here. Stuff. You can't just bring in your own. <laughs> I don't think selling the milk and cookies at PAX is a good idea. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Bro, they oh, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. They milk better was a bad choice. <laughs> they better they better let me bring in my own coffee, right? Because there's a Dunkin' Donuts right up the street, right? So I'm like, I start my day with that. And then uh and, and then the, the the coffee they have there at the convention center is terrible or at least the place that i went to to get my coffee last time terrible obviously overpriced it just didn't taste good like it didn't uh, like didn't taste strong enough uh so uh, they better let me bring in my dunkin donuts or i will have something to say about it as will kill artist one the dreamweaver game cat with the five dollar tip said the universe balanced everything out i won a hundred dollars on a two dollar scratch ticket so it covered my 93 dollar donation wow Woo! see Karma is real, and karma's got your back. But are karma chameleons I'm... real, AJ? Oh, stop it! We, 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 I'm not <laughs> doing this today. <laughs> uh, love would be easy if your colors were like my dreams, AJ. We Red, got gold, a lot and green. To cover today, Brian. We might want to move the show along. Now. Red, gold, and now, green. Now seems like a good time to move on. <laughs> All right, AJ. Well, we just thanked a whole lot of people who helped us out yesterday. The community is awesome. And by the way, if you haven't donated to the GoFundMe, uh, the, the the link is still up. Uh, and people kept donating after the show. Uh, we appreciate all of it. Uh, but man, Ooh. thank you so very much for all that. But today, dude, we want to thank a different group of people. Isn't that right, AJ? That's right, Brian. It has been a while. It's been and a while. We would like to thank this. Damn it! I knew I was as soon as I said it. I was like, ah, I'm gonna regret that, and I did. Uh, we would like to thank those who support us in another way by changing your name to something Game Cat, something Game Cat related, or something Game Cat adjacent, as you and something Game Cat adjacent like to say. And guys, I am so excited to announce those that are back to the Game Cat. Dojo. <laughs> it's official. You got it fixed. Oh yeah. I'm so glad. You made my day, man. Me too. Thank you. Listen, some sometimes you don't know what you got till it's gone. Pay a yeah. paradise and put up a parking lot. I'm about to I'm about to make you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, uh, how many how many songs do I have to sing today to get a copyright claim? <laughs> All right. But this week, guys. We have a whopping six new game cats. So welcome to the game cat dojo. Starting with Dutch underscore DJ, the bunker game cat on Tabor. Bing! A Tabor reference. Wow, Ghost of yes. Tabor. Very nice. The Ghost of T T Tabor hype is real, man. People are really excited about this. And uh, all we know is that it's coming to PSVR 2. I don't know. I think it's planned for this year. They did give us a nice little fancy roadmap, but, you know, it. Uh, I'll I'll be happy for it to arrive when it's done and ready. We've also got Rondomar, the Spanish pirate game cat. Bing. Spaniard. We've got a Spaniard, Brian. I just like the name Rondomar. That that's gotta be a Rondel. reference to something that I just don't understand, which is fine because I'm not that smart. Uh, but I just like saying it. Rondomar. A Spanish pirate game cat. Hola. Meow. That's dope. We've also got Meow. Oh. Random Toxy. The PSVR2 is apparently dead cat. Bing. Oh, you, we, yeah. <laughs> I mean, haven't you been watching the media for yep. 20 years now? I mean, or I should say realistically 10 years, because that's all they like to talk about is that everything, everything VR is dead all the time. AJ, you can't swing a headset without hitting a dead cat. <laughs> Isn't that what they say? <laughs> <laughs> they do now. <laughs> oh, we've also got Biker Game Cat from Mars. Bing. Did, did you get that reference, at least? I, I, I remember Biker mice from mars is that what it was there you go yeah. yeah i think it was like a usa saturday morning cartoon or something yeah yeah i think they made a video game about it too i think super nintendo they did i never played it though so uh we've also got thunder thunder thundercat tgc Bing. i cannot read this i, I, I can never read this too <laughs> either <laughs> <laughs> hey wait i can't i cannot read it i cannot i cannot Finally, Brian, no. last but certainly not least, we've got Dino, the middle-aged mutant ninja game cat. Toss me a ninja slice. Bing. Middle-aged mutant Liberty. ninja game cat. Middle-aged <laughs> mutant ninja game cat. Middle-aged mutant ninja game cat. 
Feline turtles dinner. with a walker. Oh, sh- <laughs> <laughs> turtles. There's no turtle references here. It what are you talking about? <laughs> <Turtle power. laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Guys, if you change your name on YouTube uh, because you love us almost as much as we love you, make sure you put uh, change your name, then put hashtag GameCat underneath any without parole video so that uh, AJ, AJ can give you a shout out on next week's show. Uh, Y'all I, nailed I, it this week. Y'all I, killed it. I promise you, you. I promise you I will have less coffee next week and I'll be far less excited about this entire thing. <laughs> Uh, AJ, a couple more tips rolled in while we were goofing off. Um, let's uh, Let's hit these up. We got... Uh, Thundercat. So we started streaming. Yeah, basically, we got Thundercat TGZ. I can read this with the five quid. It says, "Don't worry, Brian. I donated it, but I can't afford to get the packs. But worth the lasting memory. I lasting. But worth the lasting memory. I know you four will have. Oh, That's you're so sweet. freaking sweet. Uh, so sweet. We will, uh, like we said before, for those who missed it. Uh, we are definitely, at least I am going to force the other guys. <laughs> Uh, to to make some kind of special additional content for you guys and and do some some cool love, extra how you're videos. taking credit for this but it hasn't even been done it yet. is <laughs> it is my show and my channel so oh, right you know. and i i forgot to thank you aj for having me here yet again today <laughs> at least at least when all the good stuff's happening when it's when it's bad then you get some credit too don't you worry Macho, 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 the real estate procrastinating game cat with the $5 tip says, damn, seeing them face to face like that is so epic. I cannot wait to for this thing to finally become realized until this thing finally becomes fully realized when even the PC VR haters own one, too. Very nice. Um, <clears throat> a loop of the underground game cat says i love brian's singing mood don't encourage me don't encourage me this isn't it's not going to end well i guarantee you it, it's it starts off all fun and light and then eventually i just sing a bunch of like uh mcr b-sides that no one's ever heard of <laughs> so i apologize in advance for that um aj where are we at man where are we at we, we've really got to dive right into this because it's going to take us a long time to get through uh comparing uh the first year of playstation one to the first year of playstation vr2 this is this took me. This took me a couple hours today, man. Just to this, just to kind of put this all say, together. Man, yeah, I was gonna say this is the most work, you guys. This is a special day. <laughs> Remember this. This is the most work I've ever seen him do before a games cast. You don't ever. pay me enough to be here. <laughs> right. Well, so, so I'm he, giving you a raise. So, but yeah, and the, and the complicated thing was like actually going through and, and finding, um, you know, finding the release dates for for every PSVR. Uh, one and PSVR two game, and then of course putting them into like putting them into into these brackets that are like month one, and then putting them side by side, month two, side by side, month three. So um, <clears throat> yeah, dude, like we, we've we've got it right here. So here here's how this is gonna work. Um, you know, we've got I, I I called them launch month one, launch month two because it doesn't matter, right? Because we're comparing in October for launch month for PSVR to February for launch month of PSVR two. Uh, so we're just going to say, hey, this is the first month they were both out, the second month they were both out, but the dates are here on the screen in case you're interested in that. Um, and Jesus, dude, the, the uh, <clears throat> what's it called? The launch for both of these things? Way, way better than I remember, right? PSVR 2 had a great launch. That was very recent, but like it was seven years ago when PSVR 1 launched. That it, It's a way better launch than I remember. So we're going to go through uh, in a second here because I do want we do want you to be included as well. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start a poll, uh, but don't feel free not to answer the poll right away. Don't well, don't yeah, don't. Maybe you should do the poll once we go through the list. I mean, this, the list is up on the screen. I, we will be scrolling through. I just want to give people all the time that they need. If you vote, okay. may, maybe you guys are just historians and you know your 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 launch titles inside out. I just I just want to put it up so they can vote whenever they're ready. Um, which had a better first launch? Which had it? Let's just say which had a better launch. PSVR 1 or PSVR 2. And again, take your time mm-hmm. answering. We'll get to it. We'll get to it when we get to it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> AJ, so let's let's take a look at this list here. Um, over here on the left is PSVR 1, and there's a bunch of games that got a, a PSVR uh, mode. Uh, that And that's why some of these dates are way before the launch of PSVR 1. Like Cat Lateral Damage, VEV, Hatsune Miku, Nebulous, uh, 100 foot robot golf, PSVR Worlds, Wayward Sky, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Ace Banana, The Assembly, Batman Arkham VR, Battle Zone, Bound, Brookhaven Experiment, Drive Club VR, Eve Gunjack, Eve Valkyrie, 
Harmonix Music VR, Headmaster Here They Lie, which crazy. Uh, Hustle Kings VR, Job Sim, Keep Talking Nobody Explodes, Loading Human <clears throat> Chapter One, not Chapter Two, Chapter One, Res Infinite, Rigs, Sports Bar VR, Super Hypercube, Super Stardust Ultra, Thumper, Tumble VR, Until Dawn Rush of Blood, Volume Coda, Waddle Home, Pixel Gear, Windlands One, Weeping Doll, Carnival Games VR, and Tethered. Sorry, sirens on my end. AJ, we'll get to the PSVR 2 stuff in a second here, but wow, like what a bunch of interesting VR experiments. What a bunch of weird indie Some games. Standout titles for sure. There's also a lot of crap in there. Um, of course. But there's some definitely some notable standouts like Rush of Blood. I mean, that's basically the reason I became interested in VR. Rush of Blood, Thumper, uh, Res Infinite, uh, here they lie was kind of like a sleeper hit, you know. Uh, Eve, Eve Valkyrie was pretty good. Drive Club was eh, it got better over time, but no, it was no, like, no, uh, no, 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 no. People's opinions of it got better over time. People try to claim, oh, it got better. That thing was good from the get go. Good is a strong you. word for me. I just, I, I know we, I okay. think we just have it was great from the get go. <laughs> let me, let me I, clarify. I, 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 I've never liked Drive Club very much. Um, so I don't know. I've just, it doesn't do it for me. But, and it but, was so ugly. But we can't um, deny, but, we cannot deny we had some full fledged games like Drive Club, like Until Dawn Rush of Blood. These, these were, these were big games. Pretty big, pretty big for VR back in that time. Right. Back and, in my day. And, and uh, even, Batman, Arkham VR, yeah. PSVR Worlds. Those are the big standouts for me. Yeah, I mean, it's so. I think it's pretty easy to dismiss like some of the smaller things. You know, Ace Banana was kind of a joke. Rise of the Tomb Raider was just a mode in Croft Manor, which was cool, but I mean, you know, super short. Um, the Cat Lateral Damage wasn't even a good mode for what I considered a pretty fun game. Um, but man, yeah, dude, like some classics are in here, like Brookhaven Experiment. Like the Brookhaven Experiment was like probably my favorite wave shooter for the best, better part of the first couple of years. Uh, and then here they lie. You know, Wes still plays this every year. It's it's one of the coolest horror games in VR MRI still to this day. Great, great so, hidden gem. Battle Zone's in there too. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I had some great memories playing that in multiplayer, oh, especially once I figured out how to play it. I actually really liked Rigs too. Uh, I know that's kind of divided on that one, but I had I had some pretty good times with Rigs overall. Dude, I'll, I mean, I'll give props to Rigs. I have always thought that, I mean, the graph, the resolution was super clean. The frame rate was great. Um, you know, but playing it multiplayer was great. But the, I just didn't like the actual sport that they'd created. Um, but I did like how they kind of took off the training wheels right away and said, hey, if, if you don't get motion sickness, go for it, man. Like, this is going to be a fun time. So, uh, yeah. so I, dude, there are some, some, some really good games. Yeah. I mean, uh, for, a brand new piece of hardware entering yeah. the industry for the first time at, at a mainstream level. I think th there's even games here like uh, Headmaster that I feel like maybe at, at launch were like people didn't give enough credit to, but then like a little ways down the line, there were people like, oh, this is a hidden gem. Why didn't anybody talk about Headmaster? And, uh, and again, some of these games absolutely belong on PSVR too. It's crazy that they're not here. But Brian, speaking of which, yeah. let's, if you think that's impressive, Brian, I've already made up my mind. If you haven't tell, uh, been able to tell, let me share with you what the PSVR 2 launch lineup looked like. 2MD VR Football, After the Fall, Altair Breaker, Awesome Asteroid, Cactus Cowboy, Cave Digger 2, Cities VR, Cosmonius High, DBO, Drums Rock, Discronia, Fantavision 2020X, Garden of the Sea, Gran Turismo 7. Horizon Call of the Mountain, Job Simulator, Jurassic Aftermath, Kayak VR Mirage, Kizuna AI, The Last Clockwinder, Les Mills Body Combat, The Light Brigade, Moss and Moss Book 2, NFL Pro Era, No Man's Sky, Pavlov, baby, uh, Pistol Whip, Puzzling Places, Ragnarok, Resident Evil Village, Res Infinite, once again, Runner, uh, or more like runner baby <laughs> uh, song in the smoke star wars tales from the galaxy's edge star tenders uh swordsman vr release the kraken synth riders tale of onagoro tentacular tetris effect thumper townsman vr unplugged air guitar vacation simulator what the bat zenith the last city and zombie land headshot fever 
Dude, listen, I think I, I I think a lot of what the PSVR 2 launch had going for it, I mean, besides some incredible titles, you know, if you put Drive Club next to Gran Turismo 7, boom, you've got, you've got a winner right there. You put, um, you know, if you put Village in the launch lineup, boom, you've got a winner right there. Call of the Mountain, yeah. you get these fairly big games. And then, uh, uh, but, but what's even better, I think, for a first-time VR headset owner is for a first time oh, is, good. is that you have games like Moss Book one and two right there at launch we had to wait a long time for those games on psvr one and then here we are right from day one when you get those games available to you and they are the best versions possible super high res beautiful like i i i, I don't i don't know man i don't know like it's it, i think it's still a, a close call but i think i'd have to give it to psvr too it's it's closer than than you would think because there are some games that withstood the test of time like Rush of Blood and a couple others. Uh, but without question, PSVR two had a much better lineup at launch. Way more awesome big titles. You want to talk about big games? Um, you know, with the standouts are the the amount of standouts here. I mean, from Gran Turismo, like I said, even Horizon. I'll include that. Sure. Uh, Resident Evil Village, The Light Brigade, Moss, Moss Book Two, No uh, Pavlov. I won't put, I won't count No Man's Sky at launch because it wasn't very good at launch. Um, Runner, Res Infinite, in like uh, it's 120 frames per second, 4K glory or whatever. Um, just the it has both the AAA hybrids. It has a AAA first party game. It has also a really strong backing of like hidden gems indie games like amazing all these uh games that people don't know about song in the smoke brian for a launch title right like it took us it took us years to get song in the smoke on psvr1 uh and then uh and and then here we are again right out of the gate getting an exclusive version of it rekindled uh actually had jumping in a a, like just blew the resolution through the roof it's it's really spoiled for games man like absolutely spoiled on day one with psvr2 uh demio demio yeah man and like you know I'm, I'm i say for the purpose of this conversation i think we do have to recognize that no man's sky did get better over time and so like yeah. and, and since we're not going to say hey on uh on in june no man's sky got better since we're not going to like actually give it credit when when it needs to get the credit i say we give it we give it the credit during the, the month that it actually came out just for the purpose of this conversation i like, think even without that psvr2 yeah, oh, yeah. still wins i i think so too. so it doesn't matter yeah, I think so too. So PSVR two wins the launch officially. This is the official list. Uh, so okay, let me uh, let me go over to the live chat here and check out. Holy crap, dude! PSVR two has got. The- <laughs> There's no question about it. 123 people have voted, uh, and PSVR two has 85 percent of the vote. Uh, so there's no question about it there. Um, and and yep. honestly, you know, when when we were doing this, when we were coming, when, when I was coming up with the idea and putting all this together. Um, I, I figured PSVR 2 was going to have a better launch, uh, but looking through the list, I was actually surprised how well PSVR 1 competed and held its own. Yeah. So not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, There's going to be some... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this shakes out, but there's going to be some uh, competitiveness for sure. Month two. Not looking like this month, though. <laughs> All right, yeah. PS, I'm going to put PSVR 1, PSVR 2 and start and i say we count i say we count them in the state that they launched because like i don't think i i don't think that's that kind of messes up the balance if uh but it also messes up the balance that like that we're not going to give these games credit when during on on in the month that they got patched to be amazing it's yeah but that's not but this is a different kind of list this is about when they came out and like when they the month they came out that's totally fair that's totally fair. Okay, before we get on to uh, month number two, uh, let's let's just tackle a couple tips here, AJ. Uh, we've got Living Legend with the Canadian $10 tip says, Happy Monday, GameCats. Brian, I want to ask you if you thought of inviting Gamertag on the stream as a guest sometime. He said he'd love to talk with the GameCats. Um, this is AJ's show, so I, I don't think you're asking the right person. <laughs> You'd have to ask me. Right. And I would be happy to, uh, to host... Gamer tag on my show here. Uh, once our schedules align, he's actually invited me over on his show, and I would have done it, but I just our schedules are way off, like way off. He, he usually messages me, and I'm like at work, so it's like nothing I can do about it. But 
Maybe the stars will align one day. We'll make it happen. Yeah, there's, there's such a long list of people um, that you know. You've and, been on a roll with that lately, going to, guest spotting on other people's stuff. Trying to, you know, I'm trying to be other places, and I am, and I am absolutely trying to open up uh, Gamescast Live for you know any any time that you guys you know can't make a day. Uh, I'm now you know building a roster in my head. Uh, you know, J- Jamie was such an unexpected, amazing co-host uh, when he filled in uh for for miles the other week or i guess it was technically Wes, and um and so and, and i had so much fun when i was on between realities that like it's time to it's time to branch out it's time to start pulling other people in um so yeah most likely um we got oh, andrew ba- you. sorry oh sorry yeah, let's, let's get caught up on tips andrew bailey with the two quid says slow down guys i'm 13 minutes behind watching at 1.75 speed oh, hold on whoa, whoa. no end stuff Oh no! No end stuff, stuff, Andrew. He doesn't have time. Disappoint me. He doesn't have time. He's trying to get caught up. (laughs) Skydiving pilot with the five dollar tip says, "My brain says PSVR two launch is best, but my heart says PSVR one." Taking PSVR one home on launch day. Oops. uh, At twelve noon? No, no, at midnight. And firing up worlds rejuvenated my gaming optimism. Uh, And this is this is something I actually had a conversation about earlier today in voice chat, saying. The PSVR one launch was for me more special than the PSVR two launch because it was my first time in VR, and so all of those games, even the crappy ones, I was just in love with. I was like, "This is such a great experience. This is a new way to play games. Everything's better in VR, or VR makes everything better." Um, and so trying trying to keep those feelings out of this is difficult for me. Jacob Zenner with the five bucks says, "It's BS how PSVR has more games than PSVR two. Then PSVR 2 wills. Sony did a lot of crossovers on them onto PSVR 2. It's BS how PSVR has more games than PSVR 2. Well, I will tell you, man, we did, I, I told them up. In the first year, PSVR 2 blew away PSVR 1. And so if you're comparing In apples to apples, games. right? <clears throat> PSVR 1 certainly had more games than PSVR 2 when and more the lifespan was over, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, give... give. I mean, yeah, after five years uh, or seven years of yep. releasing games, did you not think about that? Like, <laughs> uh, no worries, man. He said, sorry about that. No worries, man. Yeah, yeah it's, I mean, that, that's, it's BS that <laughs> that's like saying it's BS that. Yeah, I don't I don't even know. Listen, listen, not when, gonna when, you, I'm when, not going to give you I'm going to give you a mulligan there. OK, when PlayStation VR 2 <laughs> has been out for, you know, five years, six years, then I'll be like more than happy to compare it to any other library that's been around for five or six years. Right yeah. now, it's just like, I mean, it's been out a year and people are like so critical about it. Uh, and not, not even really talking about you, Jacob, but we totally understand uh, where you're at. Um, it's 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 just like the this whole mainstream media thing that we've had, been having conversations about. Like VR is still in its infancy and this is just year one of PSVR 2. And people are trying to compare it to like the Steam VR library. It's like, that's pretty fucking unfair. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's do. We got to move on to the second month here. So let's go back to the full screen and tackle month two. Yes. All right. So You're taking PSVR one again. Yeah, dude, that's my baby. Uh, okay. So month two gave us uh, a patch for Hypervoid VR. Oh my Genesis VR, Eagle Flight, Robinson the Journey. Ten out of ten. Just kidding. Uh, Trackmania VR, The Martian VR, Space Rift, Time Machine VR, Hollow Ball, NBA Two K VR, Proton Pulse Plus. Crystal Rift, How We Soar, Pinball FX2 VR. Listen, no, not gonna lie. There's a lot of it. There's a lot of what feels like experiences here, and and and, and, and a lot of games that like just were, were were sort of on the short side. However, Crytek gave us Robinson the Journey, and if you ever played that on the Pro, like you just see how beautiful that game is. Uh, games like Oh My Genesis, even though they didn't last very long, were actually like really fun and pretty cool and immersive. Eagle Flight was on my top ten list for the first. I love year. Eagle Flight. Loved Eagle Flight, but again, like I love looking <clears throat> at this list and seeing how creative it is. Being like, oh, can we put pinball in VR? Sure, cool, and they did it, and it was great. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> it's nice to like look at some of these and be like, oh yeah, I remember when I had fun with that. But then. But the majority of it, I mean, like, I loved Eagle Flight. I really did. I thought that that was the first game where I was like, oh, my God, VR games can look clear and not blurry on a yeah. on an OG PS4. And <clears throat> it looked really good on an OG PS4. It was really nice. Robinson the Journey, I bash a lot. But it did, you know, it was an expensive game, at least. Right. Dude, and like, <laughs> um, and like, there are games here that nobody played. Like Time Machine couple... VR. Time Machine VR was so cool, and, like, no one played it. Yeah, it was all right. 
it was kind of cool. It was kind of cool um, for the time. VR was still new. For, <laughs> for the time, it was definitely way ahead of time. I, I liked Hollow Ball. Crystal Rift was kind of cool. Pinball, I really like. Um, but uh, I don't know. A lot of these are just uh, there's. I see a lot of growing pains in this list. Is yeah. is the problem? Um, a lot of like you remember we used to always refer to the, like the Gen One being like the wild wild west where it was just like yeah. Just developers were just like you said. You you know you're mentioning the creative the the creativeness mm-hmm. and everything, which is true. There was like a lot of creative games being made and exper- almost felt experimental. But that also led to a lot of growing pains and frustrations and clunkiness and stuff and bad game designs and yeah. and things. But, but yeah, so pretty solid here. Well, uh, I think I think when it comes to PSVR two, like we're still in the wild west, but not the wild wild west. Right? Yeah, you you got to remove one of the wilds. It's not quite as nada. crazy as it no, once was. No, you don't know nada. None of this six gun in this, brother running this buffalo soldier. Look, it's like I told you. Look, see, I can do it too, Brian. Uh, but, but I don't know but why. Ke- I know but that. Kenya, Look, Kenya, <laughs> most most disappointing movie ever. Um, uh, so for PSVR two, we have before your eyes, uh, the dark pictures, switchback VR, seeker my shadow, the Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners. Not only chapter one, but also chapter two. Let's go. Uh, remember, remember, we didn't even know that chapter one was going to be releasing two. We only knew about. Two and then and then all of a sudden it was like surprise. Yep. Last Labyrinth, <laughs> Galaxy Cart, Gorn, and the Last Worker here, dude. Pre- fairly solid. I mean, the list is like you know almost half as long as the PSVR one list, but the quality is here. The quality is here. Like a lot of people like Before Your Eyes way more than I did, and uh, I got to respect that, dude. Saints and Sinners again, another <laughs> ten out of ten game that came to PSVR one. PSVR two new owners, new PSVR two owners didn't have to wait. You know, it was like less than a month in. They were like, here, here you go. Here's one of the greatest games that came out last gen and its sequel. And the sequel was firing on all cylinders, dude. It was like, it was, We, I, I think all of us, all of all of the YouTubers out there that cover VR, we were all like, is this, is this the best looking PSVR 2 game there is? Like so far, just because of the insane resolution and frame rate. So, I mean, there's, there's some good stuff in this list. And of course, Galaxy Car got better later. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Again, not counting for me personally. I'm right. not considering i'm just mentioning updated. if you take out switchback which did get better and you take out galaxy cart which did get better before your eyes is kind of cool um basically the big highlight here is the walking dead saints and sinners chapters one and two and let me tell you man i love eagle flight so much i also really like pinball fx vr2 that being said, I would take both Walking Dead Sinners games over this entire list of PSVR 1 games. My vote goes to PSVR 2. Yeah, before I cast my vote here, I just want to make sure. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the quality, it's definitely quality over quantity time. And, uh, and, and I've, and I've got, to give it to, <clears throat> got to give it to PSVR 2. Uh, also, I just realized I'm not like keeping track. But is track that how of, you really feel? It is how I really feel. Is that feel. how you really feel? Indeed okay, it is. Good. Okay, and that's fine. Uh, so hold on a second. Launch month one. Uh, I think we we've all agreed so far on everything, right? I just can can you can... Jacob Jacob's in here still trying to figure out. It's all right, man. It's all right. <laughs> listen, listen. Not, I'm not, sorry. So, some, some people understand things easier than others. I don't, I'm not going to give Jacob a hard time, right? I'm, I'm going to try not to. Okay, but it's but he's still going. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, so hold on sorry. a second. I uh, love you. On launch month, it's one, out of love. AJ said PSVR two. Brian said PSVR two. The cat said PSVR two. And then, then month. Let's go down to month two. I just want to keep track of all of this somewhere, and I don't. And I didn't give myself a good place to keep track of it. Uh, I think let's let's end the poll and see what everybody said. Hi, GC. Do, 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 do. Holy shit! Seventy-eight percent. So still an overwhelming majority said PSVR two with one hundred and thirty-eight votes. Uh, so we're gonna the cats are gonna get their credit here too. So I'm just gonna write all PSVR two. Everybody said PSVR two. All right, which brings us to AJ launch launch month three. I shouldn't I shouldn't call it launch anymore? Just month three. Oh yeah. oh wait, D- yep. could this be? Could this be this? Hey hey. Go ahead. 
<laughs> All right, launch month three. Uh, this is uh, we'll get Surgeon Simulator, uh, Rogue One, the X Wing mission, uh, Werewolves awesome. Within. I expect you to die. That was the first time we'd ever seen that game. Uh, perfect. Fat City VR. Oof. Starship Disco, which I liked. Fruit Ninja VR. Lethal VR. In Roller Coaster Dreams, which was only partially in VR. You couldn't even build the roller coasters in it. Um, just dude, just looking at this list, like again, like you say, growing pains for sure. Um, some new IPs were, were coming up. Uh, you know, I expect you to die. We we're like, what the hell is this? And then we played it. We're like, oh, this is actually really cool. Um, but I will say one of the coolest things to come out that month was the X-Wing mission. Like that was what we were like, man, this is, why can't we get a full game out of this? Dot, dot, dot. Stay tuned. Yes. The it's the, dude, Rogue One X-Wing mission was awesome. Werewolves Within, awesome. I expect you to die, awesome. I like Starship Disco. Uh, I know Dave wasn't the big fan of it, but shout out to Dave. Oh, Mr. I like, Buddy. yeah, Starship um, Disco too. Starship Disco was fun, man, especially when you played with like the moves and you <clears> had different ships on each hand. Very cool. Uh, so for PSVR 2, we've got Creed, Wise, Tagwali, uh, Across the Valley, and Afterlife VR. Is that all we got in the third month? Is just those three? Yeah. I, I gotta say, man, easy, easy pickings. Uh, PSVR one wins this <clears> easily. <throat> I like. I, I think Creed Rise to Glory is pretty good. It's it's like solid, you mm-hmm. know. Um, but dude, Rogue One X Wing like that literally made my buddy go out and buy a PSVR. Um, and Werewolves Within was you know unfortunately never really had never took off like as never really got the credit or attention it deserved i mean that was um, one of those multiplayer games that like that you could even see who was playing if you went to the website um and that was one of those multiplayer games that actually succeeded in vr because of because it was on it was cross-platform uh and you you could get games going fairly easily so uh it might have been a bigger success than we're aware of um but yeah dude i mean it this is close but where was within and i expect you to die were both very solid titles um, and then, you know, some of these like smaller indie games, I actually had a little fun with lethal VR starship disco. I had more fun than I should have. Um, and, and then, yeah. And then really seeing, I think rogue one, the X-Wing mission gave us a peek into the future of VR and being like, Hey, ima- yeah. basically made us say, imagine a game, a full fledged game. That's like this. And I, and, and, you know, might be, might be cutting, <laughs> Spoiler. Like, split, might, be, that might be, might be splitting hairs here, but like, I, I don't feel like we ever quite got the game that we wanted that to be. Cause that was so like narrative driven, very heavily focused, like, you know, scripted and, and, and what we got was a little bit different. Um, but it doesn't matter. That, I, really, I, will, I will take rogue one. I will take that rogue one experience over the entire PSVR two launch, uh, uh, third launch month. Wow. Uh, yep. there's a horror just game. the rogue one alone listen just i'm the... not listen i'm not I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> did you, what'd you just say you say oh, there's a horror game all right <laughs> but yeah there's a horror game I'm like there's a horror game so immediately <laughs> it makes me pause and go but there's a oh horror my game God. yeah you it's, gave it's, it a five out of ten <laughs> yeah it's not a good horror game by any stretch uh but no 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 no. i'm, I'm actually not disagreeing with you uh i'm just trying to like look at this from all angles uh and, and sadly yeah <laughs> across the valley was underbaked and that just needed more content um yeah, and 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 Creed, I gave an eight too, but uh, in retrospect, maybe it deserves a seven. Um, this was an interesting month. I like the variety on PSVR one. Some garbage, but some great stuff. I give it to PSVR one. All right, all right. Do you want to? Yeah. So uh, I think let's see. Looking at the polls, with an overwhelming majority of eighty three percent, whoa, to seventy seventeen percent, PSVR one is the clear winner here all right so it's unanimous all three uh, all, <laughs> all three people you me and them that's three people uh <laughs> launch month three goes to i'm just gonna write all psvr1 i wonder how many more months like this there will be that'll be interesting uh all right aj real quick here i want to go back to catch up on some tips to catch up on some tips indeed so let's get all the way back here to andrew paley with the two quid says lol aj i'm now three minutes behind and stuff and stuff there you go i'm proud of you you have redeemed yourself andrew bailey redeemed yourself and stuff jim perona with the 20 dollar tip hey everybody in the chat uh give please give jp a shout out it is his 40th birthday today uh so send some love i did and 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 i'll tell you this it made me it made me wish i knew everybody's birthday 
right? Because there's people having birthdays every single day. They're here. And, and, and like, I wish that I knew everybody's birthday or had a list somewhere so that we could give shout outs every time we do this. Um, but, but JP is my boy. So I had to make sure we gave him a shout out. He said, love you guys and love this incredible community. Thank you, JP. Right back at you, homie. Happy birthday. The Marvel side with the $50 tip. Absolutely Ooh. killing it. It says quick win, quick win. Oh my God. Quick land. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a quick land. Go on a plant, Brian. <laughs> I, sh I should voice a cartoon duck with that voice. <laughs> Quick went. Went down a PC we all rabbit hole. <laughs> <clears throat> if anybody out there needs a cartoon duck uh, voice, please let me know. I will do it for free because I think that voice is awesome. I went down a PC VR rabbit hole and spent roughly one thousand dollars for a video card about the cost of a ps5 and a psvr2 together people whining about needing a console uh for psvr2 can kindly go fuck themselves dude here's what i'm happy about i'm just happy that the that youtube super chat allowed the word fuck to go through a, on a super chat he says i love my psvr2 stay awesome thank you marvel sod for sharing your experience aj you, let's go marvel sod how do you feel about this uh i love it and i Totally know where he's coming from because I have, uh, you know, I was pressured by many people to, you know, saying, I don't know what I'm talking about. I need to try everything. And I agree. It's it's better to be more knowledgeable of yeah. everything. But I, despite getting my PC VR setup stuff, I still go back to my PSVR 2 like three times as much. So um, I like it, but it's just exactly what we, you know, what we kind of have been <clears throat> preaching for the last time uh, for the longest time um i guess again it is kind of a person by person basis a lot of people want different things like different things so it's kind of a to each their own but people need to stop telling us what we like or what we want from you know from the a vr experience because nobody knows better than ourselves for sure so for sure. i'm with you there that was my that was my little way my quick wand <laughs> that was beautiful Ma mad vegan i need to i literally need to switch myself out of that voice otherwise it just continues uh because mad vegan with the twitter tip says still playing well while i was within with a few other diehards oh god please that stop. was wow i went to that speech was, class was, when i was a kid i think that's how i talked before speech class i think that's what my speech therapist taught me it's like not to do that uh still playing werewolves within with a few other diehards mad vegan with a two dollar tip um that is fucking awesome we, we need that's that cool shit, that the man. servers are still alive. Oh, I bet. Uh, we, we need that shit on PSVR too, though. We, right? Ubisoft, we need our Eagle Flight. We need our uh, Star Trek bridge crew. Bring that stuff over, man. I know Ubisoft's kind of struggling at the moment, but come on. That's your business. We don't care about it. Andrew Bailey with the two quid says, I'm all caught up and live and stuff. Andrew nice. Bailey, keeping us up to date, man. Keeping us Killing up to it, date. Andrew. Killing oh, Jake, it and Jacob's stuff. back. With the $2 tip, Jacob Zenner with the $2 tip says PlayStation oh, no. needs to build up the PSVR 2 library. And as PSVR 1 taught us, Jacob, they will. Because some of the best PSVR games ever made were Sony first party games. Uh, we had Everybody's Golf and Astrobot Rescue Mission and Blood and Truth, right? Farpoint. And the, these are all games that took years to get to PSVR 1. And it will take years for that, this library to be just as good. Um, Jacob, the funny part is, uh, I know you probably weren't around during that time uh but around this you time you don't think he was VR, born seven years ago is that what you're no, I, to say? In the, in, in, interested in vr around the time or oh, experience oh. V, psvr one because yeah. literally the the reason that i'm like the reason it it, it kind of uh, bottles my mind a little bit is because literally during this time with psvr one people were saying the exact same thing Oh yeah, oh. exact same thing. It was Absolutely. like, where where are the games? There's not enough games. There's not enough AAA games. There's not enough games. And like, and Sony had this promise that they were gonna, Sony promised or something that they were gonna bring 200 games w within like the first two or three years or something. And like everybody was like, Sony's not gonna do it. Sony's not gonna. And then they did eventually. Um, they had to squeeze in some some less likable games in there to make it happen but they made it happen they delivered on their promise and yeah i mean I, again something that's been out for seven years is probably going to have more games than the thing that's been out for one year um it's pretty simple math there which brings us to launch month four this is january for psvr1 and 
May, January, February, March, April, May. I can't do math. May uh, for PSVR 2. Uh, so let me tackle PSVR 1. We've got Moto Racer 4, which, by the way, guys, Ooh. was just a VR mode. There were, ne there were never any other... Uh, you couldn't do the campaign. All you could do is race around the tracks, and there were never any other competitors on the track. It was just a practice mode. It was terrible. Uh, Resident Evil 7, full game in VR, and then Dex by uh, Team Ninja. It was uh, but still very much a rail shooter. AJ, take oh, away. this PSVR is not fair. <laughs> no, this is, isn't this is, it? Isn't it? This, is a, this might be the hardest one. Let's see what's on the uh, PSVR 1 side. Uh, I mean, PSVR 2 side here. This is... Oh, I'm lost. Uh, okay. Organ Quarter, Transformers, Beyond Reality, Vegas Infinite, which was also known as Poker Stars VR at the time, Another Fisherman, Another Fisherman's Tale, Walkabout Mini Golf, Humanity, Brain Beats, Red Matter 2, Rhythm Planet, Beat Saber, Cosmo Dread, Hello Neighbor VR, ugh, Knock, <laughs> ugh, and Travel the Word. Did you just go ugh, to Knock? Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. So for the PSVR two, there's literally only one significant game for PSVR one. Yeah. But I mean, you're talking about possibly the most significant game, uh, arguably. A Dex I actually liked as well, but that you know, Resident right. Evil Seven is one of the best VR games ever made. Um, yeah. and it, and it, that, it proved, dude, it proved to uh, the, the naysayers that VR was more than just these experiences, these little small games or small experiences. It proved full fledged games could be done in VR and people were interested and don't be worried about motion sickness. Just give it to us. This is what we're looking for. It proved it. And, and it, it, which is why it became one of my favorite games for like pretty much the entire PSVR one lifespan. It was a big deal. It was a big deal, and it looked and it looked pretty damn good, man. Especially with the pro, pretty good. Jesus, man. Okay, like if it wasn't for Resident Evil Seven, this would be a no brainer. Um, Resident Evil Seven holds a lot of weight, though. But that's got to go up against Walkabout Mini Golf for me. Uh, Walkabout Mini Golf, Red Matter Two, Beat Saber. Yep. Uh, I I'm gonna I gotta go with I'm, I'm gonna go with PSVR One here. Because of Resident Evil Seven alone, Listen, I, that's a tough one though. That's a tough one, but I gotta go with Resident Evil Seven here. Yeah, this 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 almost isn't quality over quantity at this point, or or or, or even quantity over quality. This isn't any of that. This is just you just don't get big games like Resident Evil 7 in VR very often. And so when that happens, you got to celebrate and you got to recognize what a big deal that is. And so even though Walkabout Mini Golf is one of my favorite games for like years, Red Matter 2, you know, super highly rated, Beat Saber, amazing game, always number one, just ridiculous. This is, this is, this is one of the closest months yet, but I still got to give it to Resident Evil 7 because this is what I'm looking for in VR. So I think this comes down to personal preference, AJ, but for yep. me, as a horror game fan, as a Resident Evil fan, as a PSVR one fan, uh, like this is just this this really showed me what the future of VR could be, what the possibilities were. It's important. Definitely competitive with with Walkabout, Red Matter Two, and Beat Saber. Um, those are huge games. Yep. But that's to me just a testament to how amazing Resident Evil Seven is. I I still think it's one of the best VR games ever made. Um. One of my favorite experiences of all time. Yes, this is definitely some personal bias coming through, but uh, I'm definitely voting PSVR one here. Man, I want to see what I want to see what the cats voted. Holy crap! Let me go over here and check this out. Oh my god, this is the first time we've all disagreed, dude. Fifty-eight oh, percent of them said PSVR two, and so it's AJ and I are saying PSVR one, and you guys are saying PSVR two. Let's put it up, man. Let's put it up. Brian yep, I mean that's that's two AJ. versus one. Sorry, cats. Cats. PSVR two. All right. At least you have Transformers Beyond Reality. <laughs> At least there's that. No. I mean, this it was really. This close, was also though. actually, um, yeah. My, my Kelly points out a really good point. This was the closest one so far. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, let me just make sure. Let me just make sure we don't have any tips here, so we can get back on track. And we are good. All right. So let's, oh, no, hold on. Just in time here. Uh, Zen, Zen Gamer Max with the $5 tip says Resident Evil 7 was ground. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
<laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Zen Gamer Max with the $5 tip says Resident Evil 7 was groundbreaking for VR. Playing that game blind for the first time, it made me a believer. It made me build my VR legs. It's a legacy title. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Like, I didn't, I, I, I we didn't even mention this. I, I talked about this on Between Realities, but it, it was the scariest thing I'd ever experienced in my life, you know, and I've experienced some fucking scary shit in my life, right? Things that were actually physically threatening to me in real life. I was more scared and especially for a longer time playing Resident Evil 7. So definitely yeah. the scariest game I've ever played, but also one of the most fun games I've ever played. So, so yeah, uh, absolutely amazing. Yeah. And it still and holds if, up. And if you didn't play it in VR for the first time, if you played it flat first, then well, that's on you. This is <laughs> it, you had to play it in VR first, so you really missed out. Pro Zach three eight zero with the five dollar tip says not quite forty, but it's my birthday too. He said birthday. Hey, I like it. Birthday. birthday. <laughs> what better way to end the day than with a games cast? Here's five bucks, like my granny still puts in my birthday card. Thank you so oh, much, Pro Zach. Happy birthday to you. Thanks for happy celebrating. Happy birthday, man. Us. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's All right. do this, AJ. Was this, I, I, I'm, We're on launch month five, what, or just month five now. <laughs> launch month five. It's, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The launch is never going to be over. <laughs> how, how old is your headset? Uh, it's it, 19 months. I can't wait till launch year three. <laughs> It's like okay. it's like when people like we refuse to tell <laughs> tell people how old their baby is. It's like instead of just saying two years, like twenty four months. No, it's two years old. All right, dude. Uh, PSVR one. Uh, this is February. This is launch month five. We got VR ping pong. <laughs> Bad. Dirt rally. Big game. Marvels, which was great. Psychonauts. Rhombus of ruin, and then dying reborn, dude. I'm just gonna say it. This is a pretty. Uh, this month slaps. Right. Ping pong was kind of crap. Um. But but dirt rally, dirt rally, full man. Dirt rally. racing game, amazing. I have no interest in rally games. I love dirt rally. It's so good. This is this is very similar to the Resident Evil Seven situation, where it's like a, yet again another full fledged game, and we were like, this is great, this is what we want, and then here we are, like t we're two for two. You know, one month we get this, next month we get that. How crazy is this? Like things were looking up and up, and then even things like Dying Reborn, which was only three levels of the flat screen version, it was a game I didn't care about playing flat screen. But in VR, it's like, all right, this is a janky horror puzzle game, but I'll fucking play it, man. So, and even Marvels, even Marvels. I'm a big fan of like N64 PS1 platformers. Um, and that's kind I of what Marvels too. felt like. Yeah. I'm, I'm currently replaying Banjo-Kazooie right now. And, and let me tell you, shower after playing it. Marvels is better than Banjo-Kazooie. Fight me. <laughs> it's, it's, not it's not true. I, I just want to fight AJ. I, I, didn't, I didn't really care for Banjo-Kazooie either, but... Um... Oh, it's okay. I'm just okay. I just, so for, I just I just want to get the chat all riled up. Yeah. I mean, to me, the big significant one here is Dirt Rally. That's another full-fledged, uh, you know, game in VR. Another mm -hmm. hybrid title. Um, and was the full game entirely in VR. But for PSVR 2, we've got Budget Cuts Ultimate, Cave Digger VR, Break Stuff VR, Trip, Pixel Rip 1978, Survivor 3, uh, Masternoid, Until You Fall, Hubris, C Smash VRS, and Math World VR. All right, guys, the poll is up. Let's take a look here. What makes uh, this tricky for me mm -hmm. is like, you know, Dirt Rally is amazing. Um, that, that all, like Resident Evil 7, holds a lot of weight to it. Yep. But then it goes up against some <sighs> titles that I think are really, really good, like Hubris. Yeah, um, Hubris is the standout title of the month, I think. Yeah, th that's a stand up. But Masternoid, man, don't sleep on Masternoid. That game is super fun. It is good. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people really like C Smash VRS. I haven't spent enough time with it yet. Uh, Pixorp was okay, but you've essentially kind of got, if you're really just highlighting the big hitters here, you've kind of got like Dirt Rally versus Hubris here. And that's where it gets kind of tricky. I don't think this is tricky at all, to be honest with you. Like, I, I liked Marvels a lot. Dying Reborn was just kind of like, you know, a fun little thing to do on the side. As a as a fan of Double Fine games and, and Tim Schafer, uh, Psychonauts was really cool. You know, you kind of get your point and click thing going on in VR. Uh, it was cool to be inside that world after playing that game, uh, the original game on PlayStation 2 back in the day. Um, and then you get Dirt Rally, man, the full-fledged game. I feel like everything on the PSVR 2 side is good, right? But, you know, man, like, survive was just janky and and i really think 78 was the worst pixel ripped 
of the trilogy so far. Um, you know, there wasn't anything special. Even budget cuts, Ultimate, that didn't launch in a great state. It's better now, but like, it's mm-hmm. you know, uh, until you fall in hubris of the two standouts on the PSVR 2 side. So for me, it's not difficult. I think this is a PSVR 1 month. Uh, I love hubris so much. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to agree with you here. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, uh, I mean, a better <laughs> month, like which had a better month overall though. Um, hubris, Masternoid. Everybody get your votes in because I'm going to stop the voting in about 30 seconds here. I could honestly flip a coin with this. Um, But because Dirt Rally is such a special, like, once in a generation kind of game, Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with that. So you and I, you and I are both going PSVR one. In protest. (laughs) <laughs> in protest okay I'm going okay aj and brian psvr1 here we what go what do the cats say here let's find out oh, i'm sorry let's find out oh my god two-thirds of them say psvr2 mm. two-thirds of you Okay, that might be wrong on this one. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Okay, and then we got the cats say PSVR two. All right, uh, uh, that's craziness, craziness. Uh, all right, man. Uh, that brings us to uh, Grand Pod's barbecue game cat with the Australian five dollar tip says, "Hey Brian and AJ, Brian, you ready to answer my long written question? Did he write a long question somewhere? Sure." Let me get it's probably in this is it in is it in Discord? Where where is the long written question? I have so many questions about the long written question. We have to start there. <sighs> Got me questioning myself here. You you trying to change your vote? Uh, great grandpa we'll have to get back to you, man. A, uh because I don't it's I don't a tough know. One, man. It's a tough one. They're both really good. They're both because they're both really, really good. Yeah. Well, listen, you consider it, okay? <clears throat> and what and the rest of us will move on. Launch month six. <laughs> For PSVR one, we get this cyber dang and rampa uh little demo experience. We got Darknet, the Minesweeper game, Unearthing Mars, the first one, Leave the Nest, which uh some of you guys didn't get, but it was a flappy bird clone. Uh Ghostbusters VR, don't get that confused. It is you get to explore the uh, firehouse and then faded the silent oath and Corix. Dude, there's a lot of love for Corix out there. Uh, but I actually really Not enjoyed faded me. the silent oath. Really like that, <laughs> that, that single player, you know, just kind of like experience a Skyrim like world without any of the mechanics. Uh, you know, that was all narrative driven. Um, this is an interesting month, man. It's an interesting month, but it also like, you know, it, it does, it's not, it's not jumping out at me as great. So I don't think it's going to be too hard to overtake month six. All right. For PSVR two, we've got synapse or synapse B99 overclocked operation wolf and the room VR. Uh, this is easy for me. No question about it. Uh, synapse and the room VR heavily outweigh this whole month, the launch month of, or the month six of the PSVR one, uh, it eclipses it, and it's not even close for me. Uh, all right, I'm gonna start in the poll here. Let's see. Yeah, let me take a look here. Uh, by the way, Grandpa's Barbecuer, it was just making fun of me in that tip, saying Brian, you always have a hard time reading uh, my tips, and so that's what he was making fun of, making fun of me. So, uh, thank you for that. <laughs> um, You're amazing, Sebastian. So, uh, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is, dude, I didn't, it was funny because you were reading the list and like Synapse just kind of like you read it and I wasn't even paying attention to it. But then now that I'm looking at the list, yeah, Synapse is fucking awesome. B99 yeah. is way more fun than it seems. Operation Wolf was uh, absolutely disposable, um, and unnecessary all around. But the Room VR, uh, 
which seems like on the surface, just the exact same game we played on PSVR one. If you play those things back to back, you're going to appreciate the higher resolution on PSVR two. Be like, oh shit, this is just how I remember the game. It looks way better on PSVR two. Um, easy, 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 easy for me too. Uh, this is kind of a messy month for PSVR one, right? Other than like Corex, which was a standout title for sure. It was still very, very basic graphically. It wasn't like super immersive. Uh, we got some amazing games on PSVR 2 in month six. So I'm giving it to PSVR 2. Easily PSVR. Yeah. Synapse and the Room VR, two excellent games. Um, for sure. What did right. the uh, cat say? Uh, oh, I'm giving I'm 93%. Giving... Oh, my God. All right. We don't. We don't... 93%. We, we got don't... an A for PSVR 2. Yeah, we don't we don't have to run that poll any longer, which right. brings us to uh, month seven. Everyone says PSVR two. There we go. Month seven. Let's take it down. We got um, <clears throat> Mortal Blitz VR. Hey, that was a classic. Hero Kid. I love Mortal Blitz. I I love Hero Kid. That's not true. I love, I love Dread Hulls. Well. <laughs> I like Dread Hulls too. Yeah. Uh, Race the Sun, which is actually pretty fun. VR Invaders, which is a nice wave shooter. Bandit Six, which I which is actually pretty damn good. Static. Great, great game, great puzzle game, and Symphony of the Machine, dude. Not gonna lie, like again, it's tough. a lot of small games, but the quality is definitely going up and up here. Mortal Blitz was super polished, super high res, felt great, definitely felt like a time crisis game. Dread Halls made Hero Kid worth it. Uh, and, and again, if you've never if you've never heard of Bandit Six, dude, go back and watch my review so you can see like what you're missing. It got taken off the store at some point. Uh, but it was cool, man. Lots of great progression system for something that's technically a way shooter. And then Static is just one of my favorite VR puzzle games of all time. Static is amazing. That's and I wouldn't even consider that like a small game or anything, even though it's maybe a little bit on, you know, shorter than sure. Some really long games. Uh, I It felt like a full fledged game um, and it was incredible. I love Mortal Blitz, although it did feel like a demo. Um, and then, of course, there's dread halls <laughs> which is here arcade which right. i have like did you know i have like 80 hours in that game uh Something yeah i mean I would, like I would have guessed more because of all the times oh. they make you play it <laughs> uh but for psvr2 we've got super death game vr skater green hell vr firewall ultra crossfire sierra squad and a fisherman's tale all right listen take firewall ultra off the table because obviously that had a terrible launch and and, and things mm. just went horribly however yep. vr skater is one of my favorite psvr2 games and you know screw screw the hate that green hell vr got with because of a little resolution issue that was still such an ambitious That's not vr the, game the the reason people hated on it was because it was the quest version it wasn't the full open world version it was both it was definitely uh, yes yeah. but yes you're right people wanted the pc pc vr version and i guess i would have preferred that too because it sounds like there's way more to do in it um but what we got was great and then Crossfire Sierra Squad was this awesome surprise, right? Because I don't think we expected it to be like just full on time crisis, uh, but but in VR with full locomotion. And oh. it was so much fun to play that multiplayer and it looked so good in the headset. I think and it got is, updated within, I think, the same month. Well, I, I guess it was towards the end. So it I don't know. It got updated constantly. It got but updated even constantly. without the updates. Um, this is a this is a more competitive one. Like I said, there's some amazing gems here: Static, Herocade, Dread Halls, Mortal Blitz. Amazing uh, stuff here. But this, to me, is again no question here. PSVR two for VR Skater, one of my you know favorite PSVR two games. Period. Um, Green Hell was like okay, like it was like average, you know, at, at launch. I would say it's a lot better now. I still enjoyed it. But dude, Crossfire Sierra Squad is was such a pleasant surprise for me. And that game, oh man, like that game is just it's got so much content, the amazing haptics, adaptive triggers, so next gen feelings. It's got all these AAA qualities, super fun co-op. Uh easy choice for me. PSVR two here. Silver Nexus is confused in chat. He's like, Brian, you can't just take a game off the table. No, Firewall is actually. I think Firewall boosts this month up. Like I had a lot of fun in Firewall Ultra. I say we don't. I say we just don't need to talk about it. Just in the same way we didn't talk about Waddle Home on PSVR One, because these are games that like didn't really move the needle for anybody, and they weren't didn't make the month very special. We can talk about Firewall Ultra. I think this boosted it boosted month up quite a bit. Um, I had a lot of fun at launch, but then like of course the problems started rolling in, and like we couldn't even play together and all of that. 
Um, so, so when I say take it off the table, I don't mean let's not consider it. I say like it's just not one of the one of the month's better games. And 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 as always, like we do on the channel, we rate things based on uh, the good games that came out for it. We don't, we don't, we never judge a library based on the bad games that came out for something. Otherwise your focus would always be on the wrong thing. It's like, let's take a look at the N64 games that came out, right? You don't talk about Chameleon Twist. You talk about fucking Banjo-Kazooie. You talk about Mario well, 64. I, I, think, I think when I'm trying to... Uh, the only reason I'm not mentioning Firewall is because I'm trying to say why this month, why I think this month is better for PSVR 2. Exactly. And it's not better because of Firewall. It's be But it is better because of Crossfire, VR Skater. And I'll give a little credit to Green Hell because I did enjoy that. I played uh you know at launch i did i did enjoy it somewhat yeah. so um because i had never played the pc version and stuff so i, I don't know but um yeah. vr skater really just pushes this over the top uh there's did you i really love this i really love the smaller games that we got on a psvr one in, in month seven but the games we got i mean just bigger and better and really you know stuff that you would never see on psvr one we were getting on psvr two within the first seven months um yeah yeah mike kelly says apparently i need to get crossfire you damn right you do man yeah. and if you if you can handle the challenge dude play it on the realism mode um with manual reloading oh my god yeah but but play with a friend if you can if, if you're gonna play it on that difficulty um but good god one of the best shooters i've ever played zach lightning is saying i'd get crossfire if it wasn't so military and colorless it's it's so I mean it's military themed, right? But it's like it's very arcadey. Like that's why I like it because it's an arcade game, um, and it's I don't remember it being colorless. Is it colorless? It's not it very being colorful. I mean, yeah, it's not like rainbows and fucking unicorns. But it, <laughs> but it, it, it it's it's that's what he means. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if yeah, if you want a shooter with rainbows and and uh, and, and and unicorns, Vertigo then, too. Then, then oh, there you go. Get Vertigo too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> damn. Uh, wait. Did I put up a poll? No. God damn it. But we, I think we vote, both voted. Go ahead and put up the poll, but we both voted PSVR 2, right? Dude, I'm, I'm, why am I terrible at this? Start a poll. Uh, and what month is this? Seven. Month seven. Sorry, guys. I wasn't paying, paying attention. PSVR 1, PSVR 2. Uh, also vote if you like rainbows or unicorns. Shout out Tatum. But Crossfire, Sierra Squad. My The real Raul <laughs> that doesn't suck. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Fox Die Infected with the two euros says, just tipping. Thanks, Fox Die Infected. Appreciate you being here. Thundercat uh, TGC, I can read this with five quid. Says, sup, AJ. Sup, not AJ. <laughs> Quick question. <laughs> Is there a month that both have the best releases so we can predict the best month for games? Oh, and Sup Tornado too. It like was, upcoming? Is there a month that both have the best releases so we can predict the best month for games? Uh, I don't like, know. I don't know again, upcoming. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, the, the biggest game I think you need to be on the lookout for, if I understood the question properly, is Wander, which is June 27th. I think, I think he's actually talking about the PSVR 1 and PSVR 2 comparison, saying which month... January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December was the best for PSVR one, and then compare it to PSVR two. And is, it, is uh, there a best, best month, month that that works? Um, and, and oh. I guess, is it was, yeah. was there a best month in history for VR? That's my guess that he's saying. And, so, and then he's saying we use that month from now on to predict that this is when the best VR games will release. Well, off the top of my head, for PSVR one, you have a it was October. Here. <laughs> oh yeah right I, I don't even have to i don't have to use the spreadsheet know, because october 2018 is when we got astrobot and firewall zero hour and tetris effect and like some other things and that was just like that was the most insane month ever but also i think over the summer which maybe we'll find out here soon we probably will um i think we also got like farpoint and skyrim in the same time and so I, yeah i don't know and we usually um, get october like uh spooky games and so, like, that's just the icing on the cake. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'd say the answer for Thundercat is, uh, is October. He Good says answer. that's right, not AJ. <laughs> <laughs> 
one day, one day, this channel will be all mine. Macho, macho, <laughs> macho, the real estate procrastinating game cat with the two bucks says, Bootstrap Island looks fun. GH paves D way for those. Green Hell paves D the way, way for those. Uh, Bootstrap Island, uh, I th isn't that like an hour long experience? Like it looks really good and it is, and it is coming to PSVR too, but I don't think it's a full fledged game Ooh. or anything like that. Um, Beat Saber was also in October 2018. Hey, AJ. Hey, Brian. I want to talk to Samson. Uh, Climb in the moon like that bitch I was crammed in. Uh, we got a $2 tip from Samson143VR. says, just a tip. That's right. All right. We need to keep this moving. All right. That gave us let's enough go. time. That gave us enough time for the votes to roll in. And let's take a look at them. PSVR 2 all the way. Uh, and I don't even remember what. Uh, yes. PSVR 2 for me as well. AJ, is that PSVR 2 for you too? Yes. Okay, so all, all PSVR2, we all agree. Woo, fantastic. All right, let's get this back over to here, and then we can go back over here. And that brings us to launch month eight. This is uh, May for PSVR1 and September for PSVR2. It hurts my brain, Brian. <laughs> it, hurt, it hurts my brain a little bit too, man. But you know what? <laughs> Just, just massage it a little bit right. and it'll feel better. I have no idea how this is going to go from here. All right, uh, we got Nog. Quiz night tonight, Moonshot Galaxy, Passengers Awakening, Polybius, Dick Ooh. Wild, Farpoint, and Star Trek yes. Bridge Crew. Dude. Oh, man. Listen, 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 listen. I'm going to let you talk Ooh. about Farpoint in a second here. Uh, Sirens on my Ooh. end. Uh, but dude, Nog is a nice little underappreciated gem. Nice little puzzle game. Fun to fuck around with in VR. Quiz Night Tonight is garbage. This is the first game that the Alpha developers made. It was absolute shit. Moonshot Galaxy was a cool mini golf game. Uh, kind of, sort of, um, take place on like uh, Galaxy, Mario Galaxy type planets. Passengers Awakening, kind of movie style thing. Did a lot of small things here. Wow, lots of sirens on my end. A lot of lots small of sirens. Thing, are <laughs> a lot of small things going on, but a couple of them were cool. And then we got the two bangers of the month, and that's Farpoint and Star Trek Bridge Crew. Amazing month suddenly for PSVR one. Don't you agree? Bangers. Absolutely agree. Farpoint, one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, favorite video game stories of all time. Great gunplay using the. Uh, also, that's the launch of the aim controller. Um, oh yeah, Polybius, uh, wonderful Jeff Minter trippy game, and then Star Trek Bridge Crew, uh, super fun, social, really polished. Another great Ubisoft VR title. But this brings us to PSVR two, uh, which we got Toss Alvo VR behind the frame. Uh, mm. Crisis Brigade two, pretty good. Uh, down and out. Blah. Uh, Broken Edge, pretty good. Runes Magus, eh. You Calligrapher, ooh. Hell Sweeper VR, needs to be patched. Uh, Paper Beast. So, of PSVR 2, what really sticks out to me here, Crisis Brigade 2 is really good. Um, Broken Edge, people seem to really like. I'm not a big fan of it, but people vouch for it, and, and I understand, and they have articulated why it is good, and I we can see that. Um, I'm not gonna hold Hellsweeper here because I'm still waiting for this game to be finished, although I hear it should be finished very soon. And then Paper Beast, which actually was uh, kind of disappointing on... Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. It was disappointing on PSVR 1, but actually really good on PSVR 2. And I don't agree with that, unfortunately. I, I Paper Beast just has not resonated with me. I cannot make that game happen oh. for me. I should I should love it, and I, and I just... Don't. Even on PSVR 2? Even on PSVR 2. Um, oh. And... You know, I see a lot of disappointment in this month. You know, like you said, Hellsweeper didn't turn out great. Ruins Magus was supposed to be like, hey, Dungeon Crawler RPG. And I was like, wow, this is tedious and kind of bad at certain points. Land. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's like Alvo's good. Crisis Brigade 2 is good. But then Down and Out is just fucking trash. Oh, you know? And then, and then you look over at PSVR 1 and you see like the best Jeff Minter game on PSVR thus far with Polybius. Even Dick Wild was so challenging, but it was so much fun. That was good. Yep, Farpoint was, you know, amazing. And then Bridge Crew, dude, this is, there is no question here, man. This is PSVR 1 all the way. I also vote PSVR 1 here. Farpoint, get your Farpoint here. If you have a PSVR 1 and you haven't played Farpoint, what are you doing? Right. Go get Farpoint. I love that, uh, you know, if anybody is watching this and they have a PSVR 1 and not a PSVR 2 yet, hopefully you're taking some notes here and because we're trying to highlight... The standout PSVR one titles as we go through this. This shit ain't um, homework. Put that and, notebook and, away. And Farpoint 
And Brian did the most work he ever did in his life working on this sheet for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, far, yeah, Farpoint, Bridge Crew, Polybius, easy win. All right, 100 votes. And guess what? Everybody agrees with us, PSVR1, 81% yes. of you. Very well done. We The cats are so smart, man. I Trains on my end? Is that train? What is it's fucking happening? Tra train's just going to go right through my apartment. Take me out with it. I'm looking forward to that. All right, month eight. Here we go. Everybody agrees. Oh, PSVR1. So, AJ, the, the funny thing is here, as we're getting like deep into year one for PSVR1, I'm finding out that I'm wrong about PSVR1. I remember the first year being like painful to get through a little bit because like, you're just waiting, waiting for the store to refresh. Like, give me, give, give me, some, give me something new. Give me something new. And as it turns out, we were getting pretty good stuff. It's just it's easier to look at it in this context than it was uh, than it was to kind of sit through it, I guess. It's the same thing that happens sometimes with PSVR two as well. But PSVR one, yeah, like it had really good games fairly consistently, but there would be these long stretches. I mean, when you're waiting a month for a game that lasts two or three hours long, and then you blast through it, and then you got to wait a couple new another two or three months, or you got to wait six to seven months for a huge title. Um, it's that it's that wait that that wait could feel like a long stretch of no releases and and whatnot so it felt longer than what it you know kind of actually was all right man here we go we're getting into month nine this is june for psvr1 tekken 7 which if you guys don't remember was just a practice mode uh which sort of felt like a waste of time special delivery which was paperboy in vr chess ultra which was blurry for some reason it's ridiculous ancient emulator which not too shabby wave shooter uh, four player Arizona Sunshine, which was a big deal uh, coming over to PSVR one, and then Cavernous Waste, which uh, shouldn't have been a big deal. I think it was made by one dude, but I actually really enjoyed it. I really needed that game when it came out. It was great. Um, I hate Cavernous Waste. <laughs> I know you do. Arizona Sunshine. Big, Arizona Sunshine, though. You know, I mean, this a is big this, standout here. This is kind of the standout, but unfortunately, like. This was still Vertigo finding their way. This was still early developers finding their way. Clearly a game uh, that was designed with uh, teleportation and not full locomotion, because then when you use full locomotion, it gets janky as hell. They Them trying to find their way through using the move controllers wasn't great. Uh, lots of mandatory teleportation when going up ladders, that kind of stuff, you know, jumping off of cliffs. Um, and it was just, I, I don't know, it was not, not, not the amazing game that the sales charts would have led you to believe that it was. So... Uh, I'm underwhelmed looking at this list for month nine. Take it away with PSVR 2, AJ. I am... There's a daunting uh, list of games for this <laughs> month. Right, is this launch uh, month? What happens here? Is, is this... Uh, also, is this October, I'm wondering? Because it, it seems like October. Yeah, the dates are and, right there for uh, you. And the funny thing is... The, da the dates are right where? You're, you're looking at the spreadsheet, right? All the All the dates yeah. are right next to the game. That they came Four, out through release dates. Oh, oh, I need to open up this. Uh... I know, I know. Oh, I can't see it. Anyways, um, okay. okay, there's a lot of games here. And just think, th there's like four or five games delayed this month from this month. Uh, but we've got Pixel Rip 1995, a remaster of the original game. Project Wingman. Uh, Waltz of the Wizard, not bad. Gazzlers, not bad. Ghost Signal, really good. Red Matter, really, really good. Uh, Angry Birds VR, not too shabby, actually. Uh, Blink. What the hell's Blink? I don't even know what that is. Uh, Propagation Paradise Hotel. Freaking amazing. Uh, Box to the Beat VR. Eh. Tennis on Court. Eh. Seventh Guest VR. Really good. Uh, Racket Fury. Pretty good. Ghostbusters. Wise of the Ghost Ward. Uh, eh. uh, Journey to Foundation. Okay. Foglands. Eh. I haven't played the update, though. Uh, but that doesn't count here. And NFL Pro Era, too. So... The big standouts for here, and there are some big standouts, dude. Ghost Signal, um, yeah, so you got good. Ghost Signal, Red Matter, um, Propagation Paradise Hotel, Amazing. Seventh Guest, um, and then you've got some good supporting games. Like I really like Pixar Up 1995. Waltz of the Wizard ain't bad. Gazzlers was okay. Um, Angry Birds actually isn't that bad, even though I have like zero interest in it. Racket it's, Fury's not I, that bad. So did you check out the update. Like the update was good. It felt good. It was. Uh, I was actually really enjoying it more than I remember enjoying the first one or the original. Which one? Angry, Angry Birds? Birds. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, it's it's okay. Like it's not my yeah. thing, but it's pretty decent though. Yeah, dude, Racket Racket Fury is such a great port. You know, um, it, yeah, as you said, Propagation pretty is sure. just like one of the best games. Is we got the best version of Red Matter on you know out there. Yeah, I mean, did, even in like you you, you mentioned Gazzlers, you know, like I, there's a lot of love for Gazzlers in the community. Uh, yeah, I I think that game needed a lot of work, but I think it actually might have gotten some of the work that it needed. And then Watch of the Wizard was just like the best version of that game available too, with voice commands yeah. and all that stuff. So, uh, this is in Pixel Rip ninety five. I think that's probably the most loved Pixel Rip game uh, out there. Even though I like ninety eight better, um, above and beyond, man. PSVR two, and I do apologize. I ended the poll way too early. I thought it was the last poll. I screwed up. <laughs> so, um, but I, but we did get a hundred votes. And AJ. Okay. They all agree. PSVR, yeah. PSVR 2, 88%. Sweet. Do you agree with that? Yes. All right. PSVR 2 all the way here. Uh, really, the only thing propping up this one is Arizona Sunshine. And um, I like Arizona Sunshine for, you know, it was it was kind of fun at times. And it, it made a, it was an accessible shooter, uh, easy to pick up and play for a lot of people. So props to it for that but uh yep. this month definitely wins with some stellar titles yeah i'll, I'll get the, i'll get the pull up for the next one early and i promise i won't take it down uh, accidentally on time okay uh so so we're going to be moving into month 10 which was better psvr1 or psvr2 and we're going to start the poll even before we start looking at the games so i don't screw up uh by the way i, I don't know if you saw awesome tatum with a five dollar tip, says special delivery has the best jump scare in a VR game ever. Ooh, Getting ooh, run ooh. over from one of those cars will scare the crap out of you, dude. He's not kidding. When, the car, when you get run over by a car, when you try to deliver fucking papers on a bicycle uh, from a car that comes up behind you, pff, that's pretty good stuff. Launch month ten, <laughs> which was uh, July, July uh, for PSVR one. The Bellows, fantastic contraption. Archangel, the Idol Master, Super Hot VR, uh, Apollo Ooh. 11 VR Experience, Monkey King, which was an inter uh, just like an interactive movie, Heroes of the Seven Seas, Infinite Mini Golf, Smash Box Arena, which was really fun, Tiny Tracks, and Theseus. Holy crap, dude! This is this is a really interesting month. Like Archangel, just pure quality, right? It might, it's, it's, yes, yeah. it's a real shooter, but pure quality. Uh, but then you've got like super, super hot VR, which never came out of our top 25 list ever after launch. Yeah. Barely even left yeah. the top 10, I think. Uh, and then, you know, Smashbox Arena before we got, uh, before we got any great multiplayer games, Smashbox was fucking fun, dude. It was like, do we call it dodgeball guns. So much fun. Yeah, not bad. Um, super hot, obviously being the big standout here. Um, and then I think Archangel was, like you said, was maybe not known, well known by a lot of people, but, uh, I certainly enjoyed it and thought it was pretty good. Um, it was just, it was just really expensive for what it felt like. And that was the big problem it had for sure. And um, I will tell you without even looking at the PSVR two lists yet, this is going to be a tough month to beat because I really, even some of the smaller games, like Heroes of the Seven Seas, probably not good now if you try to play it now, but like it was just something like a nice little single player diversion that I got to check out and, and, and I enjoyed it. Fantastic contraption, lots of replayability there um, and just lots of creativity involved. Um, and, uh, you know, Infinite Mini Golf, this one, Zen was trying to bring all of their flat screen games over to PSVR and, uh, and I really applaud him for doing that. Even Tiny Tracks and Theseus get a lot of love around here. So, looking at PSVR 2, we've got Cactus Cowboy, Desert Warfare, mm -hmm. Peaky Blinders, mm -hmm. Vampire the Masquerade Justice, Kill It With Fire VR, <laughs> Barbaria, Colossal Cave, Koi Koi, <sighs> Drunken Bar Fight, Rezzle Player, Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, That's the uh, Sorry. <laughs> Bad Dreams, Suicide Guy VR, and 4 VR pool forever pool yeah oh yeah oh. I mean, there's a lot of crap on both these lists not gonna lie yeah um man so does anything mm. anything live up to like archangel and super hot i think are the two big ones um i mean I vampire bar vampire the masquerade justice and Va barbaria. Uh, barbaria definitely um, and, dude, five, five, nights and five nights at freddy's right which is which is a great version of the game uh, the, it's a free upgrade and it like looks incredible the uh the resolution frame rate are on point um 
this is i mean oh man yeah i i i think i think the slight bit of quantity kind of outweighs i think as as great as super hot is and i could easily seeing it being more important than any other game of of both months um I have to give the weight to Vampire Barbaria and Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, those are big quality games um, and a lot of content and a lot of stuff. Super Hot was uh, pretty kind of revolutionary in a way in some of the things that it did, uh, making a you know puzzle shooter. But um, I just. I don't think it has enough on its own to match up against the other ones. I, I this is probably for me one of the toughest months so far. Yeah, yeah it is I, close though. I do think that Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted version pushes it over the top. Um, this is if Super Hot VR wasn't there, this would be an easy decision. Yeah, yeah. but I'm going to go with PSVR too. Sounds like you are too. Um, I could go psvr1 for super hot but i'm gonna go with psvr2 here well it looks like the chat uh also had trouble deciding uh with over 120 votes 53 percent said psvr2 Ooh. so it was close for everybody wow. but we all agreed yeah. in the end well not all of the 47 percent of you didn't agree um but we're majority rules here and so I'm launch. glad to see Vampire getting some love here because I freaking love that game and I don't know what happened after it got that one patch. Um, <laughs> but it sounds like a lot of people are, are uh, agree that it's it's really, you know, it's, it's the type of VR game that I want. Like as much as I love Super Hot, it was like kind of over too soon yeah. and Vampire mm -hmm. had like, you know, a lot of... A lot of stuff going on there for a while. A lot of stuff going on, which brings us to August uh, for uh, for launch month eleven. Uh, we get <laughs> don't ask questions. Castle Storm VR on PSVR one, Dino Frontier, Neptune Flux, Paranormal Activity, Ooh. Soul Dimension, Abduction, Sneaky Bears, and Spark. AJ, killer killer month. Spark became an addiction for me. It actually took over the number one spot on the top twenty five for a while. Uh, Sneaky Bears was actually fairly polished as far as wave shooters go, even if it was crap. Abduction, not a good port, but a big adventure. Uh, Soul Dimension, just chapter zero. Uh, it was the beginning of a horror series that never happened. But dude, Paranormal Activity, like back in the day, that looked photorealistic. It was super scary. I loved it. You and I, I think, both have gone to bat for Neptune Flux. Uh, that game I was made by Neptune one Flux. dude, I think, and... Just a cool underwater adventure. Dino Frontier was so good. And then Castle Storm VR, yet again, here's uh, here's Zen Games uh, trying to bring over all of their flat screen games into VR. Again, lots of credit for that. This is a great month, dude. Like, this is going to be hard to beat. I can see the PSVR 2 list is long, but, ho <laughs> but hopefully the quality is there. Otherwise, I don't I, I don't know how it's going to go. I, I think you'll find very soon that the quality is going to be there. If only I, really... I was the one that put this list together and already knew. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Neptune Flux, absolute hidden gem that I love dearly. Um, Paranormal Activity was a lot of fun. I had, I had a lot of fun streaming the whole playthrough my first time on Halloween. Sneaky Bears, I love Sneaky Bears. Um, sadly, I didn't get enough time to play uh, Spark, really. Um, so I never really got into that. And by the time I was like ready, Sprint Vector came out. So, um, but guys, here we go. So PSVR 2, another long list of games here. Uh, we've got Among Us VR, uh, Arashi Castles of Sin, Prison Boss VR, Arizona Sunshine 2, Ancient Dungeon. Oh, 10 out of 10. I, I, I hear Brian likes this game. Yep. But dude, I mean, look. If if there was one deciding factor alone, Resident Evil Four oh, forget it. uh, it's over. is is on here. It's already over. Yep. But we're gonna keep going because there's more games that came out. Epic Roller Coasters, which surprisingly was surprisingly good, kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, FNAF Help Wanted Two, uh, which was uh, actually what I've played. I've really enjoyed, but I haven't played much. Not for broadcast. Affected the Manor. I still yep. haven't played that on PSVR two. It's a pretty Cooking good version. Simulator. I haven't played Cooking Simulator, but I've heard it's good. Also good. Towers and Powers, haven't played it. It's good. Gun Club VR Reloaded. It's good. <laughs> Ven VR Adventure. It's, it's mid. all right. Yeah. It's mid. Uh, Forever Bowling. It's mid. all right. Uh, um, Ooh. 
Actually, yeah, I'm definitely below average. Uh, Breachers VR, not bad. Hotel R and R, I love this game. To really death. great version um, of it too. Yeah. Yes, uh, and Tiger Blade, uh, which I think is a great arcade shooter oh, okay, uh, with some samurai, and then Vetrix World, which, which I, I really never played. I had a lot of fun with, um, dude. This dude. is, I mean, even even if you ignore. Even if you ignore Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4, it's still... It's still an amazing month and would totally wins. win. But with Resident Evil <laughs> yeah. 4, oh man, dude. It is yeah. incredible. It is incredible month all around. I, it's, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't even really play Among Us, but you know that's a big game and that's a pretty pretty popular one and is pretty cool. Uh, Arizona Sunshine 2, I loved, um, or I liked a lot, I should say. Ancient Dungeon, you know, obviously big one. Yeah, it's just the the whole really as great as the launch uh, month eleven was for PSVR one. Brian um, was dude Resident Evil four. Uh, take away all the other games, yep. Resident have Resident four Resident Evil four be the only game this month. It still not only beats PSVR one here, but it smashes it. <laughs> yeah, and then dude, as um as Mike Kelly VR in the chat says, Ancient Dungeon, like. It, it, what probably one of my favorite games on the console uh unbelievable great month uh and dude in the chat uh everyone but dan Kiefer agrees that psvr2 uh took this one 97 percent so, <laughs> nice. so it's psvr2 all around for is this what is this 11 oh we're almost there dude this is we're on the last month all but dan Kiefer. PS2. <laughs> Good. Um, uh, moving on. <laughs> Hold on a second. Respect, thank you. Respect. Yeah, for sure, man. You got you, you to respect the PSVR one love. Uh, Grandpa's Barbecue or Game Cat Rear with the Australian $5 tip says, thanks, AJ. It's so awesome when you have Brian on as a special guest. <laughs> I try, man. Y'all said you loved having seeing Brian on the show today, so I invited him back. And guess what? Because of your donation and support and professing your love for Brian, I am happy to announce that I will be having Brian next week on PSVR Gamescast Live. Let's go. We'll see you there, Brian. <laughs> I don't think I like how hard we're leaning into this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, All man. Right, let's the get... last month. Final month. All right. This is uh, September for PSVR 1, and it is uh, in January for PSVR 2. So here we go. September for PSVR 1. Don't knock twice. The Lost Bear. Bloody Zombies, Manifest 99, Radial G, VR Carts, End Space. I like uh, End Space. DreamWorks Voltron VR, DW VR, Light Tracer, <laughs> and Chernobyl the VR Project. Interesting list, man. Interesting Ugh. list. A lot of a lot of underbaked games here a little bit. Don't knock twice was buggy, but I actually really enjoyed it. The Lost Bear really showed us how cool you could present a 2D game in VR. Um, same with Bloody Zombies. I, I, yeah, I love the Lost Bear. Well, I really liked it. Um, I try to, I try to think. Don't knock twice is a tricky one because, like, that was one that I really liked, but it was so buggy and broken, and you literally had to like restart your game from the beginning. But the good part was was that it was like two hours long, so yeah. it was like not hard to restart it. It's like it's like oh, I lost all my save, like a game breaking bug. Oh well, that took 30 minutes and I could be back right back again. And um, yeah, that was so buggy, but, but it was a lost bear was cool. Buddy zombies kind of cool. Um, Manifest 99. Is that the experience thing? Yep. Like, yeah. Yep. Radial G was like crap. It was trying to be wipeout kind of. And, yeah. I didn't love radial G, um, but in I VR liked what it was trying to be more Same. than what it actually was. Right. I'm glad we got wipeout eventually because that, that was not scratching the itch, but in VR yeah. carts, unfortunately, dude, it never felt like you're more Too moving slow. more than five miles an hour. Uh, end space is cool though. I loved end space. Yeah. I loved end space. Yeah. Um, great arcade shooter supported the HOTUS and, uh, yeah, that was super fun. I spent a couple hours in that DreamWorks Voltron VR. Not bad cool. actually. Um, DW VR, poor man's doom. It was, it was all right. Uh, light tracer, light was tracer. No, Chernobyl, kind of no. a bad puzzle yeah. game. And Chernobyl was just a waste of time. Yeah. So this is like, eh, this is all right month for PSVR yeah. one, I guess. Um, but for PSVR two, we've got vertigo two toy trains, car mechanic, sim bullet storm, VR D day enhanced and ultra wings two. 
I didn't start the poll. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> uh, so the big the big standouts for me here for PSVR two uh, has got to be Vertigo two. Um, I I know this game has some performance issues here and there, but I still loved it. Uh, and I think I think the majority of those issues are bothersome when starting out, but I think several hours into the game, you they're kind of long gone by then. Um, <sighs> D-Day Enhance, I can give a little love too, but dude, Ultra Wings 2, uh, really, really good. Um, pretty amazing. Dude, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, <clears throat> I haven't checked back in on Vertigo 2, but man, I was so disappointed with the port that we got. Um, it would be it would be interesting to check back in on it. But again, we have we're, if we're taking this just on based on how it launched, then it was rough, but it was still fun. I still had a great experience with it. Like, just... yeah. It was it was it was a fun game. Lots of like massive bosses, and the narrative was crazy. The rest of this, I mean, D Day is okay. Ultra Wings is okay. Ultra Wings is amazing. I don't know if I'm amazing, man. Like, I, I, okay, I don't, it's great. It's I'll, great. I'll, let me let me give you this. I want to review Ultra Wings, but I'm having a hard time getting pulled back into it. Like, there's nothing when I play it. I'm like, yeah, that's fun, and then and then I don't get pulled back in. Like, I don't have the strong desire to play it, and and it just feels like more Ultra Wings one, which isn't a bad thing because I'm sure a lot of people haven't played it. But I've yeah, played I'm... Ultra Wings one. Um, I'm looking at dude. None of these, none none of these, for PSVR one or PSVR two. This was not an amazing month for either one of these. Right. Yeah, but I'm... there were some good games in there. Yeah, th this is this is absolutely a toss up to me. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to give it to Vertigo to Vertigo Two. I'm going to give it to PlayStation VR Two, probably because of Vertigo, even though I didn't like the port. Um, but but barely <laughs> barely by a smidge, as my grandmother would say, smidge. Yeah, I'm I'm with you here. Um, I got to give it to PSVR Two here. Um, but just by a little bit. All right, so both of you and I agree, and the chat definitely agrees. 84% of them say PSVR 2. Uh, now, <clears throat> should we do a bonus round? There's well, a lot. I see a launch month 13 here. Well, hold on. Let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> All PSVR 2. Okay, uh, so so the problem is, is that neither one of these games, uh, neither one of these headsets launched on the first of their month. So you have to get back to that date in that month to make it a complete year. So technically we do have a bonus round of launch month 13 <laughs> to get, just to get us back up to the, the day that the headsets actually launched uh, to make it a complete year. And over on PSVR one, we got Everest VR, Syndrome, which is just a mode, Evasion, The Invisible Hours, Rob Yescom, Raw Data, which I, in my head, definitely put in the first three months of PSVR one, not, the last day yeah. of the year. Uh, yeah. And then uh, Tohu Kabuto 5, which is just a fighting game that was not good. For PSVR 2, we had Bartender VR. Oof. Yeah. Borderbots VR. All right. Better than I thought mm -hmm. it was going to be. Way better. Deadhook VR. Mm, what? Not as good as I thought. Yeah. Legendary Tales. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> I, th I think I think we know where I'm going to be voting yep, here. Me too. Um, Space Docker VR, which is awesome. Uh, have you played that yet? Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm, yeah. I, I really like Space Docker VR. Three it's out good, of three pods. Um, Survivor Man VR. Was that a uh, was that a Brian Bites uh, preview? It, yeah, uh, it's a, it's a secret. Space Docker will um, happen as a Brian Bite, and it will be three out of three pods. And, and Survivor Man VR. Okay, look, I love the Invisible Hours, yep. and I it was it was like I, I did not ever see myself being able to enjoy a VR game that had zero gameplay. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's Basically. literally just fast forwarding and rewinding, um, and it was. But the story was really good, and it was such great storytelling uh, as you would expect from Rob Yescom. Uh and then there's raw data, which is I think Servios's best game still. I think it's still their best game. Yep. I'm trying to think of their full list of games, and I'm like, yeah, 
I'm definitely feeling like Raw Data is their best game. They need to remaster that one. What was, what was um, the, uh, the the racing game uh, uh, that came out right after Raw Data? Um, the oh, Sprint Vector. Sprint Vector. Thank Ooh, you. Sprint, Sprint Vector, Vector was my really good, but I still like Raw Data better. Ooh, that's a tough one for me. Um, but dude, I mean, look, Space Docker is freaking awesome. Portabots is actually not that bad as I thought it was going to be. But dude, Legendary Tales is literally my favorite VR game of all time uh, at this time. Um, next to like Legendary Tales is next to my favorite game as like, yeah, it's 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 up there amongst my Mount Everest of favorite VR games next to Farpoint and uh, Resident Evil 7 and um Resident Evil 4 and <laughs> Resident Evil Village and No Man's Sky and Grand, uh, Grand Turismo, uh, all these things. Dude, uh, absolutely legendary tales. Um, that game has been something incredibly special. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's something I've been wanting for a really, really long time. Easy pick for me, PSVR 2. <laughs> Prozac 380 says, why do you have a three paw system instead of four? Because you know, AJ, cats have four paws. <laughs> it's true it's, it's sort of been a running joke and i and i think I mean, he's got you there and i think it's way too funny to say three out of three paws the perfect cat <laughs> i don't know why i think that's hilarious uh, but also because i don't want people like you know dissecting the rating system and saying oh two paws that means it's only 50 percent, right so um it, it's, it's not meant to be that but yeah i, I think it's, i just think it's a funny joke at this point uh old darth with canadian two dollar tip says very cathartic i feel even better about psvr2 uh it is interesting to kind of compare these. It's kind of and... crazy. It's kind of crazy, right, Brian? When you actually, you know, like you analyze things <laughs> yeah. and <laughs> like actually get some facts and, and look at things and yep. and <clears throat> don't get your opinion from, you know, wanting to make more ad revenue or, uh, I don't know, um, get your opinion from fucking clickbait websites <laughs> And then act like you know everything that you came up with that opinion. Jeez, uh, it's crazy. I know it's crazy. Facts are crazy, y'all. Who could have thunk it? AJ, overwhelming majority, eighty-nine percent agree with us. PSVR two for the win on month thirteen. Now let's ride the game. Feeling of the two dollar tips has got to point out. Space Docker now has Hotus support. Yeah, yes. it does. I can't wait to try that. Yeah, it does. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't tried it myself. But um, but Izzard, uh, who I trust implicitly, uh, has tried it and says it's good. But definitely a good shout out to Invisible Hours and Raw Data here. All right. <clears throat> uh, AJ, um, I, I wish I had a pen or something to tally this stuff up. Uh, but here, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to here, kind of copy stuff and, uh, and then paste it. Is that going to? Yeah, there we go. There we go. We're just going to put all this stuff together. So AJ, what, what did you what did you feel about? Like, I mean, this is, this is a trip down memory lane. Uh, how did you feel about... Um, How'd you feel about the PSVR one launch year? You know, since it's seven years ago, eight years ago at this point. Um, how'd you feel about it? Like looking back at it, was it better or worse than you remember? Um, kind of worse, honestly. Like I thought it was going to be a little closer. I don't know the full tally yet, uh, but I assume I think I know what the outcome is going to be. Working on. Um, you know, I definitely remember the first year of of PSVR two. Um, PSVR one being pretty fun. Um, I, I didn't No, I didn't, I wasn't a day one adopter. I got it a couple months in, um, a couple months later. Um, but I did go back and get caught up really quick. Um, but yeah, this, I, to be honest with you, I thought this was going to be a little bit closer. Um, but this is, you know, I think, I think PSVR one had a, had a great first year. Um, but this definitely puts into perspective, like that PSVR two has had a much better first year than I actually thought, and I came into this knowing that it had a pretty good first year. Um, but it feels like breaking it down month by month, like you got pretty much at least one banger, almost one big banger a month, um, if not more than one. And uh, yeah, that's I can I can I'm satisfied by that. That makes me very satisfied knowing that we are averaging one really big game a month, which I think is healthy. I'm doing this in the dumbest possible way, <laughs> <laughs> but I can't help it. I only have two more to copy and paste uh, and then we'll be able to look through it all properly. Uh, 
Looper, the underground game cat with the five euros says month 12 also had the Solus project. Probably some other shit. Ooh. Oh, oh, probably some other shut down games missing too. Oh, shut down games. This is a, so I unfortunately I had to rely on Wikipedia for this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there could be some delisted games here. Missing. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it seemed like it included some delisted games. Uh, and so that's why I, I felt confident that this was probably a decent uh, list. But yeah, if, if, if there's anything what missing, was... my apologies. This, this, getting all this together already took way too long. Uh, so, uh, but thank you, Looper, for keeping us on track. It still doesn't. Oh, wait, hold on. Huh? That actually makes that makes um, month 12 a little bit more competitive for sure. But I still think, ah, I don't know, man. Actually, that might flip that month, but I don't think that one month is going to change the whole thing. All right, well, it's too late anyway. <laughs> Plus, I don't think everybody loves the Souls Project as much as I do, uh, or as much as those who know, know. Sure. All right, so hold on a second. How many months we got? So, so month one is PSVR 2. Month two is PSVR 2. Uh Oh shoot! We're, okay, so we're gonna have to do majority rules. I guess if, I guess we have to override the cats if it's we we agree. Um, yes. So all PSVR two, PSVR two. Okay, all PSVR two two. Brian and AJ PSVR one. No, AJ and Brian PSVR one. No, everyone PSVR two. That's three. Well, month seven, everyone agrees PSVR two. Month nine, everyone agrees PSVR two. That's five. Twenty. Uh, Month 10, that's six for PSVR 2. Month 11, everybody but Dan Kiefer goes PSVR 2. <laughs> and then month 12, everybody agrees PSVR 2. And then 13, everybody with PSVR 2. Dude, that is nine. Nine of the 12 months go to PSVR wow. 2. Um, that's pretty good. What I will say, though, is that PSVR 1 really didn't take off until after its first year, though. Agreed. Like the best, the best of PSVR one. Maybe we'll revisit this, Brian, this time next year in Gamescast history. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll we'll do a two year uh, kind of uh, comparison because I can guarantee you that's going to be really well. I don't know about competitive, but that is definitely 2018 was arguably PSVR one's strongest year. So that would be really interesting to see. Dude, Looper says Starblood Arena in month seven. So this is funny, man. I didn't even think, I thought Starblood Arena, I didn't even realize that was in the first year, which is crazy. Um, pretty crazy, man. So what what was in what was in month seven? We got to get back to that just to double check. Oh yeah, let's just take a look. Oh, I mean, that is a good month. Um, it had, I mean, Static and Herocade and Mortal Blitz it's it's oh. it's it's not going to push me over because vr skater green hell firewall crossfire i mean it it would have still been close yeah. for me but it wouldn't it wouldn't have moved the needle, i don't think I don't it would have flipped it yeah it wouldn't have flipped it even if it did flip both those months i think psvr2 is still you know it would have made it a little bit closer but it, yeah psvr stills uh, by a significant amount winning the month battle Amazing. What a, Amazing. This, man, yeah, what a great year. Yeah. Is, bo both of these both of these heads had had great first years. Um and uh and and if and if PSVR two can maintain uh the lead it has on PSVR one in terms of the titles and the quality and the quantity, uh in year two, I think it's gonna have an amazing second year. Uh and we're gonna we're destined for an uh, just a really fulfilling library when it all comes down to it. Uh, I know this wasn't yeah. the most scientific way to handle this. There were certainly other ways we could have done this, but this, <laughs> you know, I, I try not to put like, you know, seven hours of work into getting a games cast set up because we do do three of these a week. Um, but hopefully you guys uh, enjoy being along for the ride. AJ, it's your turn to host 20 questions. Do you have a game picked out? I do, Brian. Holy crap. Well, you know what that means? It means I'm screwed. Right, guys, I think you, this should be easy for you today. I think I think you get an easy mode today. Easy mode? Holy crap. You, yeah. You've never let me play on easy mode. I didn't really put a lot of effort into this one, is so it, I'll be honest. Is it is it so easy <laughs> that it's story mode? <laughs> I can barely die if I try? I, I would say so. Wow. Probably. Wow. It's it's probably story mode easy. Is am I alone, guys? 
you guys don't believe him either, right? Like he's just trying to lure, lure me into a false sense of security. I, I feel like I know AJ too well. He's full of shit is what he is. All right, man, let's do this. Guys, help me out. We've only got six minutes and 20 years. No questions. Figure out what PSVR 1 or PSVR 2 game AJ is thinking of. On your mark, get Des, go. AJ, is this on PSVR 1? Yes, it is, Brian. You piece of shit. I, I knew you were lying to me. Uh, is this also on PSVR 2? No, it is not, Brian. I, I knew it. Okay. Uh, AJ, did, did, did this game get mentioned on today's show? uh yes it did actually all right guys so very likely it is in the first year of psvr1 um uh what was this was this ever a contender or or or, or did it have a good home on our on our top 25 list was it oh, consideration for those game games yeah yeah it was it was a top 25 contender uh for sure okay <clears throat> main pretty much a, a stay on the okay. top 25 all right, all right. Uh, the story mode baby story mode sirens on my end uh is this uh was there some uh was there a lot of shooting of guns in this game bang bang uh there's no shooting of guns definitely not a lot of guns if any in this game no that's five okay so it's not super hot that, that eliminates that um uh no guns. Okay. Um, ooh, Alejandro D is wondering if it's a horror game. So is Markio. It is not a horror game. Okay. What else we got? What else? Uh, Dan Kiefer, out on that little island all by himself, is wondering if it's story driven. Uh, yeah, I would say it is story driven. Whoa. I just need to get this out of my head. Uh, is this a murder mystery? This is not a murder mystery. All right, I just had to get invisible hours out of my head, guys. So it might have a murder mystery somewhere in it. Okay. Um, is this based on a, a known IP? This is based on a pretty well-known IP. I think I think Scott's on the right track here. Um, <clears throat> is this more of an experience in a game? This is definitely more of a game than an experience. Oh, there goes Batman, that's, you guys. That's 10. Okay. Uh, mm, I mean, is, could this be the X-Wing, I mean, mission? Like, one fucking mission? Is he really going to do that to me? I don't know. More of a game. Because Batman's not a game. This is definitely an experience. It only lasts like an hour. Um, for, remember, first year here, guys. First year. <sighs> Uh, we did mention other games. This is true. This is true. <laughs> Kill Artist is asking if it's delisted. It is not delisted. Okay. Um, is it a puzzle game? It's not a puzzle game, but, but it's got maybe a couple puzzles in it. Okay. It's got some puzzles in it. Uh, is there any multiplayer? Asked Atmos. There's no multiplayer. Is this based on the Star Wars license? This is not based on the Star Wars license. Marky, I was wondering if you fly. If you fly? Yeah, like in space or in 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 the air. <laughs> um, like, is it a flying game? Okay. I'll let you work this one out on your own. There is some flying in this. Okay. A little bit. All right. Did this come out in the first year of PSVR 1? We just need to clarify this. This did not come out in the first year of PSVR 1, but it was mentioned today. Okay. Uh, now, guys, remember, this is not on PSVR 2. Uh, is and you're at 16. And we, and we know it's not Polybius because that came out in the first year. Uh, and that was part of this J bridge crew we already talked about. It came out in the first year. Uh, AJ, uh, was this was this a port? Uh, was this a VR version of a, of a flat screen game? This was a VR version of a flat screen game. 
might this be i mean are there dargans in it this might be are there dargans in it here there be dargans <laughs> um <clears throat> by any chance uh did bethesda publish this on your 19th question bethesda did publish this aj is this the elder scrolls 5 skyrim vr Oh, buzzer beater on the 20th question. It is what the chat was absolutely going bonkers like over. 20 and minutes I, ago. And I, and I first saw Doot Doot the bloopity boop game cat doot, say, doot, doot, but I also saw your long shadows going, Fusta Ra, Fusta Ra. And I saw other people <laughs> going, Dargons. <laughs> it is, in fact, uh, Skyrim, which released uh, November, I think. Uh, why does it say 11 11? Well, it says 11 11 2021 okay. on the PlayStation Store. Oh, 2021. Oh, wait, was it 11 no. 11 no, 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 it was way earlier than that. No, it was 20, it was, it was November 2017. Oh, was it 2017? Yes, this Holy was crap. just out of this was one month away from the year wow. anniversary. Wow, yeah. wow, wow, Amazing. yeah, so great. And, this is when I saw, as soon as this got announced, I was like, I'm buying a PSVR. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yep, they're, they're for real. They're not going to, they're not going to PSI toy this. <laughs> they mean business. When they announced Skyrim, I knew they meant business and they sure did. Hell yeah. Um, Dargans, Brian. Amazing. Dargans. Amazing. All right, guys. Uh, definitely a little bit of a longer episode than we were planning on, but thank you so much for being here. This was a lot of fun. A little trip down. Oh, it could have been so much worse, Brian. <laughs> oh, it absolutely could have been. Uh, but it was a great trip down memory lane. It was a lot of fun. It brought back a lot of memories. Talked about a lot of games that I you know, had almost forgotten about. Um, but this was this was fun. So thank you, everybody, for hanging out and contributing your votes and hanging out with us. We love you so very much. And just another special shout out to everybody uh, who contributed to the GoFundMe. You guys don't even know how much we care about you. I owe you so many milk and cookies. So many milk and cookies. That doesn't, I don't think I pluralized that correctly. So many milks and cookie? That can't be right. Why don't you pluralize these, AJ? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was that didn't sound it's, like a duck. I feel like I'm, it's I, okay, Brian. I feel like I'm losing my, uh, my, my, my duck accent. AJ, thank you for being here, everybody. Make sure you go subscribe to AJ at PSVR Underground. Click the link in the description below. Come join us over on Discord. And thanks to everybody who helps this channel run. Not only do we have all of our amazing moderators, we've got Rypop for getting this up on podcast services of your choice. We've got Brody, the GameCat Army General, who's on tour. So apologies for any late timestamps. He puts timestamps this into the show after the fact. I think AJ's having a heart attack. Should we call someone? Is that everything all right I'm over good. there? Yeah, you all right? I'm I'm just fanning myself with a sticky note. I'm sure there's something better you could be using. <laughs> uh, also, thank you to everybody who helps the channel financially. Everybody over on patreon.com slash without pro games, everybody on YouTube by being a member. And of course, everybody who tips during the show. Oh my God. We love you so very much, but don't and forget. An extra special shout out to those who tipped uh, and donated to our GoFundMe. The link is still live. If you want to continue supporting, uh, but we have hit our goal and we appreciate you and we will see you at PAX East. This is just further proof that AJ doesn't listen when he's fanning himself with a post-it. Wrong. Hey, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's I'm your, sh it's your show. It's your you. show. I shouldn't be so judgmental. <laughs> right? You, you do whatever you want to on your show. I'll do whatever I want to on my show. AJ, it's Monday. Can I cue the cat? Get the motherfucking cat playing because I want to say see you guys on West Day to Secrets of. Good night to you, Aceville VR in the house tonight, baby. Let's go. That's my dude right there. Wayner the Gamer says next Elder Scrolls 6 VR 2. Let's do this. Uh, Dan Kiefer, AJ, could you cool off by removing the bean? <laughs> just kidding. Just <laughs> kidding. Uh, the world would explode. I'm sorry. Guys, on Facebook to you. Awesome Tatum. Thanks so much, man. Mark, you the sleepless night underground game cat. Thank you so much, man. Left control gaming. Bob Zarkoff, the underground game, uh, game cat. Elite game squad in the house tonight. <laughs> Batman kissed by a game cat woman. Uh, Atmos VR in the house tonight. What up, Atmos? Good to see you, homie. Super Nintendo Calmers. Uh, thank you, man. Uh, had a lot of fun. Jeremy, the NAS rookie, says, bye. bye. Foolish optimist. Thank you, man. Uh, good to see you. He said, still kind of missed the wild, wild west of early <laughs> VR. You can't say that because I'm going to say it. Wicked, wicked, wild. Wicked, wicked, wild. Wow.
Wild Wild West. Wait, let's see how long I can... Wait, uh, okay, we'll, uh, we'll, I'll do this afterwards. Virtual Strangers in the house tonight. What up, Wesley? Uh, Nihilus Ryan, my metal feline friend that I'm going to give a metal, big metal hug to and exchange some metal music with. Hashtag guys like him, Luke, Game Cat, Matt underscore vegan, uh, Mike Kelly VR, Silver Nexus, my dude. What is up, man? Says take care. Be mer- as merry as can be and game on, Game Cats. Wild Hour in the house tonight. Uh, this is Skyrim, all-time favorite. Um, I know somebody said something really... I, I tried to... Too many other comments have happened now, and I and I lost, I lost track. Um, oh no! This is when it crashed into a brick wall, and everything just yeah, falls apart. Yeah, I, I I totally uh, I, I totally lost track. Is the is the outro done playing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're good. So so Brian, we need to we need to see what um what happens uh on this day in PSVR two his PSVR games cast history. But real quick, I want to see I want to see if I can remember this. Wick a wick a while. Week a while. Wild Wild West. Jim West. Desperado. Rough Rider. No, we don't know nada. None of this. Six gun in this. Brother running this. Buffalo Soldier. Look, it's like I told you. Any damsel ass in distress. You're about to get undressed. With, okay, no, that, that's that's as far as I could go. I don't remember the rest. So, Brian, it is now time for my favorite <laughs> part of the show. Uh-huh. What what happened on this which, day? Which strangely just Star followed Star my least favorite part of the show. <laughs> um, dude, I, so thought I, I, we, I honestly thought I still knew the whole song. I was wrong. We are getting to the point, AJ, where we can look back two years. But even three years ago, I changed the thumbnails to actually include headlines instead of just pretty pictures. So we can actually go all the way back to March 4th, 2021 now we can go three years back wow. is that something you're willing to do do you want to go all the way back with me yeah man let's do this let's check this 20, out. 2021 sounds like a fun ride so it's, it's a long time ago man what do we got march 4th 2021 doom doom 3 vr announced plus tons Fuck of yeah. other new psvr games fract hubris zombie land and more Oh, that was a really exciting time. Super exciting time. I love that Zombie Land got announced and never came out. <laughs> Wait, did Zombie Land never came announced? out for PSVR one? Yeah, it got announced oh. for PSVR one, never came out. Yep. Dude, oh, but, weird. But, but not, but not part of that uh, state of play or whatever, right? This, this must have, this must have. No, 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 probably not. But yeah, but yeah, this no. must have been a state of play, though, right? Like because why else would all these it, games all get announced at the same time? It was a. It was the first time they did that spotlight thing is why oh okay and so i think so it was mm-hmm. hubris part of the spotlight because that never came to psvr1 either no but i think we just knew that they were announced and included them okay this, right. what was announced as part of the spotlight was fracked doom uh this is i think this is when i made that uh yeah this is when i made that atrocious thumbnail that you like still make fun of me to this day for where it was oh, like it's Sony's dropping, dropping bombs. bombs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is oh, that it's time. so bad. Uh it was it was like yeah it was Doom and Fract. Doom and Fract are the big ones I remember. I don't remember but there were some other good looking games there too. Oh Wander Zenith maybe I don't know. Um <clears throat> just looking up something good real stuff quick. Though. I was curious Exciting to see if I times. had I thought I had that thumbnail saved somewhere just in case this ever came up, but uh, it doesn't seem like I have it. Let me ask I you. I think Pop's, me... Pop's got it in a oh, vault yeah, somewhere. Does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, if he doesn't, and if he doesn't have it saved somewhere, he's definitely got it memorized, uh, committed to memory, so he can draw it out for us. <laughs> I might still have that thumbnail somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Rye Pop yeah. says he has it. Um, let me, I don't dude, think I ever got rid of it. This, 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 uh, this template for thumbnails was very short-lived. Right, we had the PSVR Games Cast Live logo that we still use, but then like the little calendar with the date on it, and and then these headlines. Um, I'm curious to know, like, because this is bringing back some some nice nostalgia for me. I, this feels like magazine coverish to me, and and I really like that. Is this is it just me? Does anybody else like this uh, like this template? Because I like it a lot. I need to see it real we, quick. We didn't use it very long, man. I think we only I think we probably only used this for like six months or something like that crazy but um that's not as magazine as i thought it was gonna be yeah no sure. no yeah. it just looks like a mess it is kind of a mess i'll give you that <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, mad it vegan's like... Like not a fan of it and if <laughs> mad vegan's not a fan then i guess yeah yeah oh oh i do have it i do <laughs> 
<laughs> what is this? It was Interactive Chat Volume 6. Are you going to share with go. me? Oh, my God. Yeah, Doom, uh, six new games, but all I mentioned is Doom and Fract. I'm, I had to make a thumbnail really quick. I had to make a thumbnail in like five seconds. And this is what an AJ thumbnail in five seconds looked like back in the day. Oh my God. This is actually, <laughs> this is new. actually, this is actually what your thumbnails still look like. Even when you have time. Yeah. Yeah. They haven't gotten any better. <laughs> wow. No, this, they, they, they this, have, they but this is, better. this is not exactly the same because, because your original thumbnail did say Sony dropping bombs. No, that was the title of the video. Was that really what it was? This, 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 this is the thumbnail. This okay. is the thumbnail. This is the thumbnail. In all of its a- a- just horrible to glory. History. <laughs> he improved it. <laughs> and then he's trying to pass I, it off I as did, the original. I, I assure you I did not make any enhancements <laughs> to this. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. All right. Oh, hey, we got uh, we got one more tip here. Before we get out of here, we've got Loop. Oops, that's not right. Hold on a second. We got oh, that was the first. that was the first interactive chat I ever did. Volume one. I can't, yeah. I can't believe it wasn't the last. Looper, the underground game cat with the two <laughs> euros says, uh, after the fall, Zenith, I expect you to die too. Song in the Smoke, uh, Doom 3, and Fract. That's it. Oh, these were the six new games. Uh, he's, he's letting us know that, that you were referring to. Is it correct? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That is very cool. Thank you, Looper. And thank you, everybody, for hanging out. We love you so very much. Have a good night.